Welcome back, my friends, to Skyrim Anniversary Edition. I hope you are all well. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Here we are, celebrating Skyrim's 10th anniversary. Can you believe it? And we've got a bunch of new Creation Club mods and content to take a look at. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Creation Club. But I've got a few very important things to tell you about, guys. First of all, the timestamps, if you're watching this stream later, are going to be in the description below. So you can skip ahead to anything you're interested in. Oh, one sec. Server error, please try again. Dude, I literally just logged in before the stream and now this is happening? Come on. Log me in, Bethesda. Waiting for data. Don't do this to me now. I was literally just exited out to the title screen before the stream started. And here we are. Here we go. Waiting for data. Ah, Bethesda. Let's go, guys. Thanks for the £5 donation. Here we go. Fantastic. Horse armor. That wasn't shown before. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Well, it's, it's, ad it's free in the Creation Club pack. They've actually done it again. The horse armor meme is back. This was um, when they first started to do paid mods in Oblivion. They had horse armor DLC. And it was a bit controversial because no one had done that, like with microtransactions sort of stuff at the time. Um, compared to like the Shivering Ars DLC, that was a big thing. So horse armor. I'm interested in checking that out. Anyway, um, we have the curse and the Ghosts of the Tribunal. These are the two massive quest lines that add lots of armor um, and story to the game. Now, I have already played through the cause quest. Um, I was hoping it would be voice acted. It wasn't voice acted, but it was about an hour or two of gameplay. The rewards were really cool, and the story was really good as well. I released the episode after this live stream and i'll link it down below but i really enjoyed it like there was a whole sort of you know sort of oh got your moment in it and that worked really well um but i did have to read for about 20 minutes um because everything was in notes there's no voice acting at any of these mods i assume um so if any of you are wondering about that also uh, i just want to tell you guys if you want to buy this content especially on pc do not buy it from the Creation Club store. Instead, go to the Steam page, and then on the Steam page, right at the bottom, you'll see a new little option for Skyrim Anniversary Edition Upgrade. Now, that only costs £15 or $20. You're going to want to buy that instead of buying everything individually. Otherwise, it makes it much more expensive for you. So make sure you buy the Skyrim Anniversary Edition update no matter if you're on console or PC, don't buy individual stuff because it it will be so much more expensive. But just so you know, these quest mods were nine dollars versus the fifteen dollars that the um, what was the Share Gorath one? Um, like the Forgotten Seasons quest mod cost fifteen dollars, which was very expensive, um, and the uh, Saints and Seducers one also cost fifteen dollars, which was quite expensive. So. They've actually lowered their prices as well, which was good to see. Um, but I can't show you the prices because I own everything now. It, there you go. It was the Saints and Seducers stuff. Um, you could see that was 18 credits all bundled in together. So they've lowered their prices. And I hope when Starfield comes out, because Todd Howard confirmed yesterday on Reddit, that Starfield would actually have um, the same sort of system, basically, that they were going to continue working with the modding community and supporting mod creators. So it's good to know that that's the sort of price range you're going to be looking at. Um, but I'm thinking the first sort of mod I want to show you guys, which I've not experienced myself, is the Bow of Shadows. This sounded really cool when I was reading up about it. So forged by Nocturnal and used by the Assassins, it grants the users the gifts of invisibility and speed. The quest is by Chris Takahashi. Uh, quest in the Shadows starts by speaking to the Jarl Steward in Dragon's Reach. Now, when you download these, they don't all start automatically. So you have to like go to the quest location and get the quest, um, which is nice because now when you leave Helgen, you don't just get like spammed with all the notifications of all the D DLC you've downloaded. So let's go ahead and jump in uh, and continue. So which which load am I gonna do? Yeah, Dragon's Reach. I'm standing right next to the Yarl. Let's do it, boys. Let's go.
Here he is, Brill. Big now, it will be the same uh, whether the Stormcloaks invaded Skyrim or the Jarl is here or whatever. Um, you're just going to have to speak to the steward to start this quest. By the way, guys, this stream is sponsored by G Fuel. I love G Fuel. I, I, I have to say that they sponsor me now, but I've been drinking to them since uh, 2017. If you look back at like some of the first Skyrim Special Edition live streams, I'm still drinking G Fuel. And now they sponsor me, which is awesome. So if you want 30% off, use code ESO and go in the link in the description. It's basically a sugar-free energy drink. Um, and it's, it's really tasty, isn't it, Lydia? Almost as much of a snack as you are. God damn. When I became steward, I had to give up the bottle. The people of the hole need me at my best. God damn, who, who are you employing, man? You had to give up being an alcoholic? Okay. I'd be dead if not for Vignar. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. Let me see. So, is there anything you need from me? I guess that's going to be the quest. Of course. It's all in this note. Yeah, there you go. So, he's not... They've not added any voice acting. It's just steward's note added. Um, and you'll see a bunch of notes here to start a bunch of quests. Steward's note. Here we go. A car. I apologize for the secrecy, but I'd rather not speak about this in front of the Jarl. In the event of the information I received isn't credible. Okay, so you're, you're saying already that I'm probably going to be wasting my time here. He has enough on his plate as it is. I mean, he seems like a lazy man, to be honest, after the war's over now. You see, earlier this week, I received a tip from an unnamed source regarding a potential assassination plot on the Jarl. Now, while we take all threats seriously, it's difficult to know just how credible this source is. With everything that's happened as of late, I don't have time to investigate this myself. That's why I'd like you to head to Arcadia's Cauldron and check their ledger for any suspicious purchases. In particular, poisons. I've asked Arcadia to leave you a copy of on her counter. I mean, it's, it's there anyway, but okay. <laughs> Look it over, find out who's purchased bottle, bottles over the last few days, and confirm their reasons are legitimate. In the meantime, I'll have the cooks check over every piece of food, bottle of mead and leftover breadcrumbs, just to be sure nothing is tainted. If your investigation turns up nothing, then I'll, I'll know the information I received is false and the Jarl is safe for the time being. If not, I hope someone of your reputation can take care of the situation swiftly. Or oh, getting my reputation on the line. Thank you, Hungry Man, for the five dollar donation there, uh, and thank you, the the, for the the two dollars. How do you upgrade for free if you're on disc? So you can still do it in. I think I don't actually know to be honest. I'm not certain. If you if you have Bethesda.net, then maybe you would go through that. Thank you so much, Rage, for the donation as well. Thank you so much for the support. I saw you in uh, yesterday's stream with the Todd Howard interview as well. I think. Okay, so we need to go to the Alchemist's Cauldron and uh, have a look. Have a look at the ledger. So the, these quests, even though they are written down... I'm oh, hello. For you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Ah. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. So we've got some more letters, which I think is probably another quest. The courier is just spamming me. Okay, so this is the um, the place we need to go. Let's actually make this our active quest. Oh, it's telling me to go in the back door. Interesting. We'll just follow along. Yeah, the upgrade is $20 if you own the original game, so it's not free. But you do get Survival Edition for free, and some of the other previous Creation Club mods, like the new fishing stuff as well. Um, right, so apparently there's a ledger here. It also seems like there's cheese all over the floor. Oh, I just stole your business ledger. Sorry. She doesn't look very impressed. <laughs> okay, right, let's, let's read it. Uh, business ledger. Investigate the Hall of the Dead. Check the stables. Okay, so these are the people she sold things to. Jesus Christ, she's ripped that person off. War Maiden's Blacksmithing Potion, 204 gold. My God. Wait, who's this? Horongar, Potion of Enhanced Stamina. 
<laughs> that's like, is that for like the bedroom then? <laughs> 341 gold. Yeah, Priest of RK. Uh, Faringar, Enchanter's Potion. Is there any like funny stuff in here? Lingering Poison. Nord Stable Boy. No wonder I have to help him out. I assume that's something to do with horses though. Oh, what's Alea the Huntress brought? Potion of True Shot, because she sucks at archery. Wait, Lydia's brought a potion of strength. You didn't tell me that, Lydia. Could be a taxia. You? No wonder you're so strong, carrying all my burdens. It would have been even funnier if they put that Lydia brought a potion of carry weight or something. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> that would have made me laugh. All right, let's go to the Hall of the Dead. That seems like the most sus area to investigate, right, Lydia? Man, I hate reading. All of the quests are a lot of reading, so unless you want me to read it to you as a dyslexic person, you're going to be reading a lot. I'll be doing a playthrough of every single quest there, guys. Let's go into the Hall of the Dead here. Now, guys, uh, Bethesda are going to be doing a live stream uh, with the concert from The Elder Scrolls. We will be checking it out. Um, at some point, but it's a premiered video, so you don't miss any of it. You can watch it at any time. Just if anyone was interested in that. Have I never been in the Hall of the Dead? Get wrecked, son. By the way, this is a new Daedric sword that uh, was added. Hey, man, just wanted to say I love the content. Been watching you since I was 13, and now I'm 19. Thanks, Lydia, for saving me. And getting engaged soon. Dude, congrats, man. Thanks for the donation as well. I've... I've been I've been engaged for like years now. I'm still waiting to get married because of COVID. Is this the captain's note? I don't think it's that. I think it's this note. There's a dead skeever and skeever trouble. Oh, so it must have been rat poison. Since no one else seems to be doing anything about it, I've taken steps to rid ourselves of this skeever problem. Please do not eat the cheese at its laced with a dangerous poison. I repeat, this cheese is for the skeevers only. I'm going to eat this right now. If you feel the need to take a bite, I implore you to look in the mirror first and confirm that you are a skeever. If so, then you may eat to your heart's content. If you are not a skeever, then you can have, then you can better serve RK by staying alive. Poison sliced goat cheese. Have a look. Let's save, let's save the game first, mate. New content, some people call this junk. Me, I call it treasures. Cheers from Brazil. Thank you so much, William. Appreciate the donation as well. <laughs> new content indeed. Um, or new official content. Models are making great content every day. So, one sec. Food. Poison sliced goat cheese. Causes five points of poison damage for three seconds. Wait. Oh, I had God Mode on. Okay, never mind. I'm kind of... I want to put it somewhere and see if we can poison someone, like with the poison apples anyway. Let's see how much damage it does. It literally doesn't do anything to me. I am a strong skeever, I am. How do you get the new stuff, or is it just an update for it? It's an update which allows you to access it. Um, but then you need to either buy it with the anniversary edition update, huh? update, or you have to. Um... You want this cheese, sir? Tell me, do you believe in mighty art? Life after death. What do you guys think about that? Let's have some deep chat. Hey, Lydia. I know about your potion of strength now. Don't worry, your secret's good with me. Right, we need to go to the White Run stables to ask this kid about the poison he brought. I mean, he could have even brought it for a sus adult as well. I don't know why you would buy poison in the place you intend to assassinate someone anyway. Oh, there's just another note here. Oh, okay, this is pretty sus. Hello there. Do you know that you've got a dead colleague over here? Stable hands note. The Dark Elf. Can't read it. The Dark Elf was smart to choose me. Scars aside, I can pass a stable boy easily enough. I can pass as a stable boy easily enough. I'll tell the shopkeeper I got burked by a wild one and landed face to face into the briars. I'm smart like that. 
The other bandits always poke fun at me at my face, saying I don't look I look like a newborn babe. But it comes in handy for jobs like this. After seeing how well the Dark Elf pays, the entire gang will be looking for a razor pretty soon. Brad, thanks for becoming a member, dude. There's a free upgrade with the PS5 with, with the disc. Um, and go to the Skyrim's game page. It won't appear without the disc. It's so confusing, right? How to buy the game because it's released on all these platforms. Anyway, speaking of which, I'm supposed to meet my mysterious benefactor back at the stables and not at the Silent Moon's camp. Lol, so that's where they work, I guess. Not sure why, but he says I'm, I'm followed. Best to stay in character until well clear of the city gates. Well, I hope he doesn't sneak up on me while I wait. I nearly saw it myself the last time. But a smart guy like that, I mean? I brought, I brought this tome to help me find him. Thing is, I opened it up and I can't, for, for the life of me, figure out how it works. Only a matter of time, though, for a guy like me. So we could use the, clay, the clairvoyance spell to, to find him. Or detect life. Um, let's see what the quest tells me to do. Investigate the Silent Moon's camp. Okay, great. So apparently, just over here at the camp, we will find him. I wish they gave you everything for free and in the future when you buy a $20 DLC upgrade. I feel like if you've never played Skyrim, right? Oh god, we're already getting shot at. I need to get my bow out. I need to upgrade Zephyr for this bow that makes me invisible. Hey, Rexa. Look at this guy chilling out on the door there. Oh, the archery is rusty. Rusty archery, guys. Disgusting. Look at that. Missing those shots. Whoa! I think I just took that for Lydia. The bandit thug. No match for me. The Silent Moon Camp is also the same place that you get the lunar weapons. Which are basically these uh, unique... How, Lydia? You literally... Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Take him out. Here, Exxon. Oh, yeah, boy. Look at White Run. It looks beautiful. Even with no mods in vanilla. This game's pretty nice. By the way, um, if you didn't know already, um, your mod list will break with the latest Skyrim Special Edition update. A bandit highwayman. There's like 10 bandits in this area. Uh, Ill-equipped to kill me, though. He has a staff of ice spikes. Impressive. He was very confident to try and take me out, though. Another note. An assassin's journal. Sounds like a terrible assassin keeping a journal. Is the script extender updated yet? No, it's just come out today, bro. It'll take them a while because it's quite a complicated update. The bow has long been a player in the game. It's tops many a piece. From yarls to knights. It does so without sight or sound, save for a rattling crown on a blood-stained floor. Love that. That's like a sick, you know, good writing. And yet it's been far too long since I've had a chance to tilt the board. Rolaris Gale failed to topple a piece. Graham took the flesh, but not the soul. And the game went on without incident. Now the pieces sit idly by, refusing to move in their comfort. Even now, as I take aim at this target, I hear their insolent, indolent yawns through the dawn of my bowstring. Yet the board cannot remain. Level forever. With the bow in my hand, I will tilt once more. However, the timing must be right. The toppling of a piece rings hollow in a thunderstorm. I must, wait, I, was, I must wait for the right moment. One thing, one thing that's intimate. When the Jarl is not engaged in talks of war and dragons, and the battle for Skyrim comes to White's run, we'll be forced to withdraw. But there will come a time when he sits idly in his grand hall, unbothered by the world. In that moment, when the Jarl has a chance to finally breathe, I will sneak my way to the upper floors and make sure that breath in is his last and then when i take my leave cloaked in her shadow all anyone will hear is a rattle so is the bow here then oh no he's gone to dragon's reach to kill the jarl and we need to stop him 
you buy uh, it for me the dog god vampire hunters or something in vampire the old near Rift. really might consider really? joining up myself maybe you should don't take an arrow to the knee though i've heard bad things about this thanks taser okay let's sneak in what's that why is the quest oh oh a sneaky assassin a very sneaky assassin Imagine if I just kill the Yarl right now. I wonder if he would thank me or not. Ah, ah, because he's invisible, right? This is... Okay, one sec. Let me save the game. This could be fun. I wonder if we can get, like, an assassination while he's invisible with a, a Daedric dagger. Hello there. Huh? I'm going to outstealth the assassin. Hey, how did that not sneak attack you? God damn. Finish him. Yes. Retrieve the bow of shadows. There was literally an assassin trying to shoot the Jarl. And no one noticed. I am amazed. But this was a cool quest. He's got 40 ebony arrows as well. The bow of shadows. Weapon drawn is 20% faster. That's, that's actually better than Zephyr. Because it's it counts... One second, what's the... Let me check, let me check. Speak to the Yarl Steward, one second. So 74 damage versus Zephyr, which is a Dwarven Bow, does 47 damage. So I think it counts as like, probably like a, a Daedric or Ebony Bow. I need a comparison because I don't know what the base value is. The weapon drawn is 20% faster. So Zephyr had a 30% faster weapon draw, which is why it was always so good, because you get off multiple sneak attacks before the enemy would attack you. So this is insane just by that alone, because it does more damage. Uh, so you get more multiples. And then it also casts invisibility for 30 seconds. Is that a... Wow. So when you're holding the bow, it just gives you invisibility. If I put it away, I'm not visible. If I take it out... I'm invisible for 30 seconds, like, no matter what. Dude, this is, like, the best bow in the game now. I just talk to him while I'm visible. Vignar and I have our hands full. It's no small I found task the assassin. Entire hold. I found the assassin and I took care of him for you. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. See, I appreciate when they use dialogue that already exists in the game to kind of just, like, make you a bit more immersed because it feels like you're engaging with it. So I like that. Very, Very cool. Well, it's sir. giving me 1,500 gold, and I literally have the best bow in the entire game. Obviously, if you interact with anything after being invisible, it will turn you visible again. But, dude, that is so cool. What do you guys think? Stealth archer build? Yeah, I don't like to use creation club stuff in builds, though, because I just think, like, it's not fair on a lot of people who can't afford it, you know? They, like, people want to buy new games, you know, and, and $20 or even even more for, for, like, a new... Even though it's a lot of content. If you play a lot of Skyrim, it's kind of like a no-brainer, but when I was a kid, like, I couldn't afford that, man. Like, you know, I'd really... I'd have to wait, like, once a year. I might get, like, a new DLC for Skyrim or Oblivion, and that'll be it, so... Uh, not everyone can afford it. I don't like to put it in builds. But yeah, we can agree it's goddamn overpowered and awesome at the same time. So there's there's also like free house mods that have been added to the game as well. Um, but I'm not going to go and look at them right now. I'll probably do like a separate video on them. Also, oh, it's just gone 7 o'clock, guys. Which means the Skyrim stream is about to start. Let's have a quick look at this. Um, do you guys want to check this out just initially to see see what it looks like? Let me just uh Oh. Okay, it's it's starting in one minute thirty. So we've not missed anything yet. Uh let me just put uh display capture. Right, yeah, so it's starting soon. Do you guys want to watch this or not? I'll put it off for now. But let me know. Like, we could just watch, like, the start of the Skyrim anniversary stream. It might have some cool stuff on it. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if you want to see it. We can watch it together, and then we can just jump back in and carry on watching mods and stuff. Let me guess. Someone stole your Okay, you, you guys really want to see it. All right, all right. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll jump back onto Skyrim, um, and we'll watch some, some mods. 
So actually, let me let me quit to the main menu. And we'll just look through some of the Creation Club stuff, like, in between. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Love your enthusiasm. All right, we're like 28 seconds away, so I'll put this on. We'll turn up the volume. Oh, mate. Ears piercing. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to also see... We're going to see the new Starfield music as well, in case you guys didn't know. 10 seconds. The new soundtrack for Starfield will be in this. Can confirm. Another timer? Bethesda! Todd does it again. We love Todd Howard, man. He did a Reddit AMA yesterday. He said one of the first things they did along with the art is the um, the music for Starfield. And that's how they like to develop games. They always do the music and the art first, which is really cool. Oh, I'm excited. I'll mute myself for any new soundtracks, by the way. Here we go. Welcome. It's 11-11, Skyrim's 10th anniversary. Thank you so much for being here with us. We cannot believe that it's been 10 years and the longevity of this game has been an incredible blessing to all of us here at Bethesda and that's thanks to all of you. Yes, we made the game, but there's always that element that we can never create and that's all of you coming into the world and making it your own. And it's all of you that have kept it alive for the last 10 years. Just, it's so incredible, and we can't thank you enough for the passion and everything you've brought to the game, and that fuels us in everything that we do. Um, when Glad we start a game, we don't usually start with a list of, of features, really. We start with an experience. How do we want the player to feel when they enter the game, when they enter this world? And early in Skyrim's development, we had done a lot of concept art. We had some things running. And then we did the music. And we had pictured the Elder Scrolls theme sung by a barbarian choir in the voice of dragons. Easier said than pulled off, of course. And we got the music, we started mixing it. And even within our company and our team, we felt we might have something. We weren't quite sure how the game was gonna gel together. And then we cut this trailer to the early music with the concept art and that early footage. And it sang, it was incredible. Everybody in the team can probably remember that moment. And even today, yeah. when I hear the music and those, it rises up at the end in the trailers, the dragon flies through the valley, the hair literally stands up on my arms. So thank you for being here. I'd like to introduce the legendary London Symphony Orchestra and the London Voices Choir to take us once again on a journey through Skyrim. Boom. I've seen them live before, actually playing the Elder Scrolls music too, so I'm excited for this. Dragonborn, here he comes. There's this wide open world and every single thing in it you can interact with. I'd never seen anything like that before. I'd never experienced that level of immersion. Just the opening, the way it pulls you in, you know, this is better than any movie that I've ever seen. You gotta start learning about this world because this world isn't about to teach you because this world assumes you live in it. There's a lot of chaos but I'm intrigued, you know, because I like chaos. You're a god, and you don't know you're a god, and you just become stronger and stronger throughout it. I just had to have more. I, I had to know more, I had to see more. Awesome. Get shivers.
choir. The choir is so good. How do you even break that down? When I went to go and see them live last time, they played um, one of the Elder Scrolls 6 soundtracks and it was insane. A very different feel just compared to Skyrim. We're also going to hear something from Starfield as well. So hang around. I think it London. must look very strange as I'm just spinning around in all of the taverns trying to get the perfect picture of that bowl of fruit or, you know, really zooming in to see what kind of cutlery they have. It's all these little obscure details that bring a world to life in our world. Oh, cool. Cooking in a cauldron? Pretty awesome. Well, I've always loved fantasy when I first played Skyrim. I'd never seen anything like that before. I'd never experienced that kind of immersion in a game. I felt with my first Elder Scrolls I just had game, to have Oblivion. More. If you lived in a world like Skyrim, oh, wouldn't it be fun to make a meal from that? So this is the lady who did the cookbook, I believe. I've actually brought that as well. I you guys be interested in the references video from for that? these foods from conversations you hear in marketplaces that you can't even be a part of. If someone's talking about the secret spiced wine recipe, and you think, all right, well, where do they get their spices? And so you wander down to the docks and you say, oh, there's a warehouse here. All right, so now we're getting somewhere. You kick open a barrel and you get potatoes and apples and leeks. Oh, it's grilled leek. <laughs> We suddenly found ourselves with a cookbook deal. I could not have anticipated this is where my life would go. To be gatekeepers to this hidden world. Its sight, its sound, its taste. Skyrim has very simple food, but they combine for these flavor powerhouses. It's delicious. You look cool like cookbook as well. But I rate the Skyrim one much higher. Mm. 
someone will bring a cookbook up and say, this recipe has become a staple in our household and my kids even like it. That's really amazing to <laughs> even me. Even my kids. That I've quietly, secretly become a part of people's lives to feel connected to so many people in that way. Maybe I'll try and make my fiance like a scarred dish for her birthday next year. That could be cool. Lydia's cabbage stew. A limited stamina for the win. In Vermont, we have a very Skyrimy winter. So all of the photos with snow are just in my backyard. It made me like winter a little bit better. It's beautiful in the game, so it makes it a little easier to find the beauty in real life, too. She did all the photos in the cookbook because they're really good photos. They're really well done. It's impressive I like the that she did all that. They're one of my favorites. The cheese and leek crostata with sweet rolls because you can't not make sweet rolls for Skyrim. Hell yeah. They keep getting stolen though. <laughs> I'll use a little more escapism. Uh, it's an honor to be able to add to the world and to the fandom. Awesome, man. Skyrim's inspired so many cool things, like products, artwork, mods, creations out of nowhere. It's Even going to forever be a part of this fandom and the community and it's a lot of responsibility, but I, I try to take it very seriously. Not too serious. <laughs> Mine's Peace is also such an atmospheric song. Got this on record as well. Feel that Creation Club content is worth it. Don't get it. I'll be playing for it all, so you can just watch me play. You know, there's nothing that stands out for you. I think it's hard to encourage people to, you know, as a product, to buy something that many things like it exist for free. Even some of the Creation Clubs that you can buy, the new ones, already exist for free. So it's a, it's a hard sell in that sense. But I've been impressed by the one quest mod I've played so far. And also the boat we just found earlier in the stream is really good. So I've been I've been positively surprised so far. Um but value is different for everyone, right? Because I play I paid um, 15 pounds for content that I'm gonna be playing and excited about, more so than other games I might spend that money on. So I think that's worth it for me. But for other people you're not still playing Skyrim 10 years later, and some people definitely aren't, um, then it wouldn't be worth it for you, no? Oh, so relaxing, this soundtrack. 
They did a great job with the landscape in the background as well. Jeremy Sol is simply an awesome composer. He is very talented. The Creation Club content isn't free, it's an upgrade to Skyrim Anniversary Edition. You have to buy for $20. $20. how unbiased ESO is. Yeah, I really I try not to, to be too... I was trapped um, in a vicious cycle. If I didn't change it, I was going to end up dying either in a jail cell or dying in a, an abandoned house somewhere with a needle on my arm. I grew up in Wrightsville, Pennsylvania, which is out in the country. Me and my stepbrothers, we'd play outside every day. It was a good childhood. When I was 20, I got addicted to opiate painkillers. I got dark after really that, it was just a slope downhill to where eventually I was shooting heroin. Whoa, okay. Put my family through hell. They had enough, they kicked me out. And didn't realize that I should put like a warning on the stream. Didn't realize that would be in there. Oh, God. Someone just said a scuba addict and I laughed, but that's terrible. <laughs> no, I know, I know people who have had drug issues and addictions. It's definitely a very serious thing. But it's good to see that, you know, games like Skyrim can clearly I'm change that. I'm on the streets. I'm just wanting to find place to sleep, place to eat, and get my next fix of drugs. Day to day, try to survive, didn't didn't have no hope for the future. Well, I think these people definitely need more help than just video games. It's unrealistic to say, just a game can help you, you know? But maybe the story is more than that. And I was in and out of jail, and they eventually got caught selling heroin. I enrolled in a drug treatment court, and they found housing for me, which was a lot of restrictions that I just was Anyone never used to. Anyone showing up to the stream right now? Curfews. I didn't know what's going on. Going either. to meetings, NAA meetings every single day. Chores, community service. From seven in the morning, had to be out of the recovery house and had to be on the street looking for a job, walking everywhere till five o'clock at night, walking 10, 15 miles a day. So it was pretty exhausting. There was an old Xbox 360 sitting at the halfway house. Shot, man. With a Come copy on. of Skyrim in there. I mean, Skyrim has got me for a few hard times, not gonna lie. Nothing compared to this guy. And then he found Skyrim. Yeah, that that is that is real, man. That is what I say in chat. But the question is, may, maybe it was a safer place. In Without that Skyrim, I don't think I would have stayed in recovery. Choice and consequence. You make you make your own story. If you want to go over here and start this the side quest, throw off the main mission, it's up to you. It gave me a sense of confidence. Eventually I got a job that helped me to maintain that schedule, to make sure I made all my meetings. I still focused on Skyrim, still daydream about it while I was working. Damn. An interesting moment to tune in, indeed. 
Drugs? Question mark. No thanks. I do Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim's for the Nords. Bro, what even is this? This is Bethesda's live stream. The 10th anniversary fan celebration and concert. I was in concert. several Skyrim and Fallout groups on Facebook. I didn't expect this though. There was this I'm not girl gonna lie. There. Skyrim Addicts was the group. Everyone she runs was completely to Skyrim low with Skyrim as much as I was. So it was like it was just an instant connection. That is lovely. She started a new character, Khajiit, stealth archer, like everyone does. Oh no, but, yeah, it's it was me. pretty good. <laughs> Oh, no, that's literally what we were playing. Three years later, that's <laughs> that's my fiance. Same story with Kim, apart from without any drugs or anything. <laughs> awesome, dude. Oh god, you guys are the worst. He couldn't afford drugs because he had to buy 16 versions of Skyrim. I mean, to be fair, he does have it on the Xbox 360, the Switch, and and uh, whatever else he was playing just then. And then but hey man, keep some out of drugs, that's great. Instead of having a teddy bear, he walks around with a sword. That's his thing, is running, sword fighting, just from watching us play Skyrim over the years. Awesome. Did eat Supremacy, Stealth Archer, hell yeah, let's go. My fiance is Stealth Archer. <laughs> uh. Thinks he's playing a Khajiit. We all do that, man. You have, you can't not play a Stealth Archer, even if you start if as, a, to drugs, as a Nord. You're in, you're in chains, you're bound in chains. When I decided to change my life, I was in chains, just like the start of Skyrim. I would have never have imagined five years from then I would be sitting with my fiance to have a child. To the have child's a great. Where I don't have to worry about being alone. I would have never dreamed of, never even thought it was possible. But it was, it's because of Skyrim that I was able to, to change my life for the better. I love how games connect people. Like, you can have nothing in common with someone, and if you just, like, find a game that you connect with, it's just a different thing, you know? Mark! Hey, man! Hey, so I love the content over the last few years. Thank you so much, Mark. Member for 12 months! It's like your anniversary of being a member, bro. Thank you. This is like the D&D &D tavern music I always try and get my uh, DM to put on. I wonder if he got himself an amulet of Mara before proposing to his missus. <laughs> my friend 3D printed me one when I, when I got engaged. <laughs> Such a cool gift. Ever plan to return to Enderal? I don't know. I mean, I think it's a great game. I don't know if I will, though. Does it work anymore with the SKSC update and all the, the issues? I don't know. Or is it like its own thing? Hey, I'll set this indeed. The only reason I'm still friends with my school friends is games. Yeah, fair enough. I honestly don't have that many real life friends. Just a few people I can run. A few very close friends. They updated SKSE already. Also, it works. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of other mods that need to be updated. I will try out the Necromancer with all the new content, yeah. Sweet mother, sweet mother, indeed, Connor. Great quote. 
have no friends. Well, bro, if you like Skyrim, you got friends, man. There's people out there you can talk to 100%. Love the violin guy's jiggle. I need a D&D &D party. Hell yeah. I only recently started. We've only had like five sessions. Are you going to play Elden Ring? Yeah, I've not, I've not like actually got a press copy though. So I've not had a go at it yet. But it looks good. I like Dark Souls, that was fun. Bethesda gave the creators of SKSE pre-release access. Yeah, I think a lot of people got pre-release access. I want to bring the compassion and the love from nursing into gaming. Do unarmed gauntlets for do they increase day. damage? My yes. husband purchased Skyrim for me. We'll check them out though. It is different, especially since I've never played like anything like it before. And so I'm like, okay, wait, is dragons in this game? Okay, you know. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Dragons in this that game. That was the only game I played when I was in nursing school. It's because I'm really like into hype hype games and this allowed me to calm down. Just take yeah, my that's mind true. off of the stress that nursing Don't school. Don't play League of Legends. You know, Anyone seen the new Arcane anime for League? Sort of like a ASMR type of thing when you're just listening to the river and it's like, shh, you're one with nature. I actually get that, man. You got the storyline. You can go off the side Feel quest. That. You can be a thief, which me personally, that was my thing. <laughs> I really want to make a build where you just level your pickpocketing skill and that's it. Ah, oh, dude. Anonymous. Thanks for the donation, dude. With and Sky, yeah, you can't some of these stories are touching me. Because the dragon just pop up out of anywhere and then you're like, okay, here we go. It's the same like when nursing in the patients. They're scared. You have to make sure you put your game face on. I first became an ICU nurse. They trusted me to become a leader, like a charge nurse. And I'm like, I already did this, you know, I was a leader of the Dark Brotherhood. Like, I don't know, like, I know like a lot of people are like, you're so silly, this doesn't even make any sense. But it does because before I became a nurse, I've already learned how to lead <laughs> in the game. Became a nurse, she was like, do you know who I am? Help me I'm the, the leader of the one, Dark Brotherhood. Today. I'll have you assassinated. <laughs> she just get, gets like reprimanded by her boss and then she's like, ah, oh, wait until y'all ball Griff hears about this. You won't stand for this nonsense. <laughs> oh man. This is Bethesda's Skyrim 10th anniversary fan celebration concert if you're just tuning in right now. Um... They have people telling stories about how Skyrim's Some changed their life. Say, but the ones that we do, you know, after they get better, they'll come back and I'm like, hey. We're also going to see Starfield's new no, soundtrack too. You know, you saved my life. You know, you helped me. And it's just, it's just, it's just really wonderful. Like, to know that you had some part in that. So, anyway. Oh, bless her. It's so hard to see all of that stuff mentally. And then try to detach from it when you come home. Playing Skyrim, I feel like I'm in a safe place. She's a really small YouTuber under 3K followers. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. Do you know her name? Skippers TG, thanks for the donation, bro. Love everything you do. Been here playing Skyrim since it came out and watching your channel for years as well. It's so good, cool to. Is anyone like any old fans here just come back for this? <laughs> We've been playing so many games in between other than Skyrim. But Skyrim's like my safe spot. It's just such a great game. I always love to come back to it. I just want everybody to see that a video game could impact my life in so many ways. Six up though. Damn, she got a better sound deck than me. All right, hey y'all. I'm the community manager for Nora Network. Yo, your hair look good though, for real. 
What you do to it? It's like a sisterhood, black femmes mostly, because it's black women and non-binary. We're also, here um, making sure everybody is understanding their worth. Todd Howard confirmed that they have uh, non-binary character creation, so you can be like male, female, or you can be like obviously a man with a female voice, or, or like pretty much choose whatever you like. Um, and they've put a lot of work in the character creation to do things like that. So it sounds like it's going to be very in depth. You can even choose background learning skills. I'm talking about Starfield, by the way, uh, character creation for that. She is a streamer? Question mark. Someone said she was a YouTuber. I don't know what her name is though. Otherwise, I would tell you guys. I didn't think it said like what her YouTube name was at the start. You always have that one game that actually changed everything for you. So when I found Skyrim, the creativity, the storyline, learning how to become a Dragonborn, using my powers, you know, enhancing the powers as I use them. I'm something special. Like, out of all these people, I'm the Dragonborn. Out of everybody in the world of Tamriel, I'm the Dragonborn. Like, I'm special. I think more people need to feel special in life. Just not, not in games, but just in life. She's already a nurse. I feel like that's that's pretty special, you know? I feel like she does, she's more valuable to society than I am just playing video games. Skyrim, right? Generations of people. Like, it's crazy to think I have people watching the channel who have like picked up Skyrim for the first time versus people who are like now getting married um, who started watching me when they were kids. In 10 years, it's crazy. Well, 11. <laughs> Chill taser, it's all good. Intensify. It's carrying the game that would never end, indeed. Go off to college next year, and you've been playing the game since you were nine. <laughs> you've just been educated in Skyrim. Am I late? But you can watch the stream again later, don't worry. It's a lovely community. Artemisia Willow? Is that how you say your name? Thank you so much for that huge $50 donation. My god. Your channel was the first I went to once I started playing Skyrim. I might not watch every guide you made, but I always watch your Skyrim content. Oh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I always enjoy the old fans that return when I make Skyrim content. Thank you, Chris, for the donation. First found out about Anniversary Edition when your trailer video popped up. Thanks again for the years of content on Skyrim. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Turn up quality, please. I'm lit. It's on max quality. It's only 1080p 60 fps and it's a pre-recorded video so like the the quality is just bad when skyrim not my first fault. <laughs> came out i think i probably watched the first like gameplay environment showcase trailer many 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 times in my ap computer science class when the teacher wasn't looking i literally dodged school you when the game came out place, go play massive and every single thing in the world you could interact with and that was just 
astounding for me at the time. When I was a kid, we weren't really allowed to play any action video games during uh, weekdays. I got my start making custom content on Morrowind. I'm gonna see if I can go into the files and change this. Who's working out the person now, or is he like a mod creator? My parents thought it was like working like an Excel spreadsheet. I would be working with uh, mod tools and stuff to make the few games I have last even longer. Lucky he got uh, like Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls and Morrowind, right? Because otherwise, it, like, if you were just like Call of Duty, that would suck. <laughs> I've made roughly around 40 mods for Skyrim, give or take, of various sizes. Oh, did he make the Dwemer Train mod? I think that's what that was. Ah, oh, damn, okay. My best it... and most famous mod, I think, is the one that replaces all dragons with Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Why you do this? You were behind that? <laughs> if a game oh doesn't have God. train, I mean, is it really a game? Is it? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, my days. I'm just sorry I didn't discover it was Skyrim just, earlier. just a yeah. model swap, took about 30 minutes to make. And I loaded up the game, and instead of the dragon coming down to rescue you from the execution by accident, it was just a tiny little Thomas the Tank Engine thing. And it was just the most hilarious thing I had ever seen. I was laughing for like five solid minutes, because it was just so ridiculous to see this thing, like there's a scene where the dragon like lands and burns a guy to death, but instead it's a tiny little Thomas the Tank Engine just lands <laughs> and just expressionless breathes fire all over the guy. It was just like, it was just amazing. The epitome, the embodiment of evil. <laughs> what and absolute it just legend. exploded in ways I, I hadn't imagined. Oh my Three God. Three days later, the video had reached 2.5 million views. I'm going to watch that after this, man. That sounds hilarious. He's responsible for all... Uh, college really? class. Why? I see the two guys in front of me on the computer watching the video. And I'm like, you realize I made that, right? And they're like, no, you didn't. But I did. But I did. Ha! Huh. I never told anyone that I, I made YouTube videos. They're all text-based. There's such a support from the developers themselves for mods and allowing mods to be done in ways that they probably didn't foresee that they are absolutely okay with it really gives you an opportunity to express yourself in those ways with its editing tools daniel thanks for the five dollars my friend been watching for years love your personality i wish i could train your speak i could train you to speech level 100 and teach the difference between bought and brought <laughs> oh god usually it's being pretty dyslexic like there and there like uh letters mixing themselves around um, I think this, yeah, this guy did the trains. He's still working on that for the Creation Club. But it's not actually released in this reveal of Creation Club Every content, day, so I don't know when that's coming. This game even more Interesting. Massive. There's always new content to download and play. There's always new quest lines. There's always new uh, technology being developed by modders to push the game even further beyond. Yeah. So I started my company, Pasta Space Interactive, six to seven years ago. Without Skyrim, not only would I not have a career, I simply wouldn't be Trainwiz. I'd just be, uh, me. I, I knew it was Trainwiz, that. yeah. Awesome, dude. Keep up the hard work. Hey, Dan, I've been watching you since 2012, and now we're here. What a journey. Keep up the hard work, bro. Thank you so much. It's me, Dino. So apparently SKSC is already updated, though I think a lot of the other mods um, are still are still not. 
what are you looking forward to playing next year and what whiskey do you like oh my god i've got a whiskey tasting channel linked below actually if you're interested i don't have time to really record much but i do enjoy whiskey France is going to bring some habiki round while we paint some Warhammer miniatures, so that should be fun. If you guys like uh, like uh, uh, tabletop games, by the way, we did a Skyrim tabletop stream, which uh, is linked down below in the description. It's like two hours long, I believe. It's a pretty damn good game, there. If you're interested, you can get it for cheaper now before it comes out. I'm waiting for the special anniversary edition. Special, special anniversary edition. I wouldn't be surprised. Try Japanese whiskey. I've got Japanese whiskey. Just so expensive right now. Did they perform the Dragon Ball comes? Yes. I don't know if they have it on again. But they didn't call it the Dragon Ball comes. It just it just said the Dragon Ball. I was like, it's not the right name. Have the freezing and crashing issues being fixed on PS4 version? I have no idea. It seems weird. Oh dear, that's not good, is it? Nothing beats Scotch whiskey. We tried Talisker. It's very good. Really peaty, smoky whiskey. Ah, uh, yeah. I also like listening to Scarra music. Just chilling out and just putting some on. Zimzilla, thank you so much for the $15 donation. Your first video I watched was the Dream Strider build seven years ago. Here's to that and Skyrim's 10 years and seeing my favorite track done by the orchestra like this is beautiful. Oh, thanks for the support, dude. And I, I remember these videos. I, rem I spent so long on these videos. I still remember them, like each video I made. NJ, thank you so much for the $50 donation. You guys are so generous, man. Thank you so much, NJ. The music is very relaxing. One of my favorite childhood memories is listening to my dad playing the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Um, just quietly listening. Um, and he'd play it quite often now and again, you know, to mix it in with stuff he was playing. I just remember that being like, thinking that was so cool. I've been watching your channel for years, love your approach. Skyrim is the best game ever, sneak thief for life. Hell yeah, Lily. Thank you so much for the donation as well. I loved each of your guys. You were my childhood, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you like bourbon whiskey. But like I'm not, like I, I enjoy it, but I've not explored it enough, you know? Such a good soundtrack. When I die, I hope I'll hear this at the gates of heaven. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've just done the Mythic Dawn quest line for Creation Club. What are you stuck on? Hi from Russia. Thanks for great content and positive vibes. Keep it up. Thank you so much. I cannot say your name. There's lots of strange letters. Thank you so much for the donation and the support though. Yeah, I, I yeah, Todd Howard. Um, I didn't, I don't know the full story or if it's like guilty until proven innocent or what the situation is there, but they seem to be working now with Enon Zer on the future content. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what the future of Jeremy Soul is. This could be the last Bethesda game he ever worked on. Um, because I don't think they would work with him again after what happened 
based. So growing up, obviously, if it's true or not, I don't know if it was true uh, about how I could behave or the things that were appropriate for me or the things that were permissible for me. And and even though those rules weren't set out in stone, they were sort of understood by all girls. As much as my parents supported me, they really didn't like that I wanted to go in and play Street Fighter. I definitely remember the first time I saw Skyrim. I walked into my then boyfriend's apartment to surprise him because uh, he lived in a different city. And he was just hooked to his computer, chopping wood nonstop. And he didn't even no. notice that I had walked in. Hey, surprise, I'm here. Uh, and he looked up and then after greeting me, he went right back to chopping wood. You want to chop that wood, girl? Pub, thank you so much for the See donation. And and yeah, I've got another CC Creation cool. Club I didn't know quest coming out in like over an hour long like after that. this live stream. The open world to the characters, the customization. When you go on an adventure like that together, it just kind of bonds you from the start. Just chopping wood for hours, mate. And the last time I. I remember feeling that way was as a child where I was curious about things without any purpose. But now I was learning about these races and these regions in the game and, and all these specific skills that I was probably never going to use in real life. Yeah. Uh, and I was just as curious. Video games taught me a lot of things, though, especially like MMOs about like economy and trading and all, all these things, even how to type, you know. I never really saw the point in typing before that. I didn't really need it as a skill. What happened to I Jeremy so uh, Google. Getting an education changed my whole family's trajectory. And he was like, what if you could do that through video games? You know, all these kids play games, and if you really want to teach them something, maybe you should consider making a video. I was like, I have no idea how to make a video game. He's like, I do. Um, and you want to teach, maybe we could try making something together. And, uh, and I said yes. I said yes to many things after that. <laughs> that was the beginning of um, many yeses after that. And we shortly got married and started a studio. Finally caught a live stream. Welcome. What's your favorite race? Mine? Oh, I really like the Khajiits. Got a very, very cool lore behind them. Have you updated your Where version of Skyrim? Like, why can't I yes. find any girls to come We're join a right studio now, founded by a woman? And I've worked on Wall Street. I worked in academic research. I went to MIT, which is a heavily tech school. Uh, but I never felt like I was the only woman in the room. And yet here I was building my own company. And it was me and six other boys. How's gaming for you? How long are you going to be that streaming was sort of for today? the beginning of a social experiment that we now call Girls Make Games. We just wanted to run one summer camp and meet a whole bunch of girls who self-identified as gamers this, and be ask them, Skyrim, you know, what they like about mods. games and whether they would consider working in the industry growing up. Hopefully like another hour or so. And it was At such least. an emotional experience for everyone. They had found a place where they felt validated. It's hard to not be moved by that passion. And, and that was sort of like after the first summer, I went back to my team and I was like, hey guys, um, I think I'm gonna do this for a few years. And it's been eight years since. <laughs> it was just loading to on the creation clock content, Skyrim yeah. is like that friend that brought us together, that friend that made the introduction because we had just met and we're getting to know each other and I was getting to know video games uh, alongside him. One they fear. Yes. What a tune. I remember stopping and taking a deep breath and thinking, yeah. This is my game. Why this has she got out of it on her shoulder? For the rest of my life playing this game. Таким образом, Skyrim стал новой главой не только древних Awesome cosplay. Но и новой главой моей жизни. Ensimmäisen kerran kun mä astuin Olas Helgen kiipistä 2011 marraskuussa, mä en osannut kuvitellakaan, että mä katselen sitä huonomaisia tyyppiä, että mihin mä päätin sitten Skyrim. Tää on aivan 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 I gave her the controller, looked her straight in the eyes, and said, Here, try it. She played from 10 p.m. 
until four in the morning. El juego me ha marcado porque llevo un tatuaje de un tatuaje del logo de, de Skyrim. It almost feels like it was just yesterday. I was traveling up the mountain for the first time. I could feel the icy wind. I could hear dragon roaring and flying in the distance. Le combat contre la première araignée m'a foutu la peur de ma vie. Ah, uh, We kept playing, <laughs> tossing the baby and the controller back and forth. El tema de Skyrim me ha calado tan profundo que incluso he escrito varias novelas sobre Skyrim. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Y ahora Skyrim خلتني أتعمق أكثر في عوالم الألعاب المفتوحة خصوصا الألعاب الرول بلاي. La montagne, la forêt, le tertre. Oh, bah, Skyrim, c'est avant tout des sujets de conversation où vous soyez, puisque qui n'a pas joué à Skyrim après tout. El juego ha tenido demasiado impacto en mi vida gracias a él he logrado formar una comunidad Skyrim. muy grande y además he conocido un montón de personas importantes para mí que comparten la misma pasión que yo por el propio juego. Yeah, I'll probably be playing Skyrim in another 10 years time. I am still learning and finding new discoveries, uh, locations, nice. quests, characters. You love drawing your Damn, you bro! Love awesome to see you in there, Camel! It changed the camera for me. Real life, like, it by gave the way. me more Such a inspiration. Nice guy. The amazing impact. Skyrim. Wish we could be more the on the other side life. of the world. Because it is so rich a world, it really raises the bar. It's become less of a game and more like a platform for expression. I've reached a point in my life where I can't imagine what it would be like otherwise. Skyrim 10th anniversary concert. Good damn. Thank you. That was incredible. Um, and thank you again for being with us here on 11 11 in a second. celebrating Skyrim's Guarantee 10th you. anniversary. It's just incredible. 1111 actually has become, you know, now a special day for us all here at Bethesda. And next year, we have our next game coming out on the same day. We have a little surprise for you. I would like to introduce our longtime collaborator and good friend, Enon Zer. Thanks so much, Todd. And yes, Skyrim, what a game. And yes, what a score. Hearing the famous London Symphony Orchestra playing it, and it's being sung by the amazing London voices, wow, that really gives me the goosebumps. Throughout the years, I got to compose so many games for Bethesda from the Fallout series and Elder Scroll Blades and others. I feel so Trek fortunate. As well and lucky to do it and i really feel bethesda is almost like part of my family but now let's take a little journey let's fly away from these snowy peaks of skyrim right into the stars starfield soundtrack i only mute myself
damn. That was so much better even than I could have imagined it to be. Oh, my video is suggested lol. Dude, that's that's crazy. Like that was I mean we're gonna jump back into Skyrim now anyway. Well, let me yeah, swap this around. Mate, that, that soundtrack for Starfield was just it blew my mind. It it was it it gave you the sense of uh, excitement of foreboding adventure. Of um, I could imagine listening th to that for a long time. You know, it wasn't repetitive. It was exciting at parts, tense at other parts, uh, and it kept kept going on. You know, it was very very interesting, very provoking in thoughts. Um, very similar to like Star Trek. Nothing like Cyberpunk. I heard some people comparing it to Cyberpunk. No way. Cyberpunk is a very different type of game and style. Like that was. I love music for Cyberpunk. But that was completely different, you know. It's it's much more like you know, Star Wars adventure, um, Star Trek in that sense. And you can really even Hans Zimmer, you know, like um, I got I got a lot of vibes from that. Very inspired, you know. So I incredible soundtrack. Anyway, let's go back to Skyrim. Back to Skyrim. So what did I want to check out next, guys? What are you guys excited for? We just we did we did the uh, Shadow Bow already. Which is the bow of shadows. Um, and now I want to check out something else. They haven't added any creatures, have they? Wild horses. Bleh. Um, there are quests to get armor. The Daedric armor. Uh, what else do we have? What excites me? Some of this stuff is old. Oh my god, big boy chips. Thank you so much for the $50, dude. Huge donation. Hey man, I just wanted to say that you were one of my first YouTubers I watched that played Skyrim. Thanks for giving me all the videos to watch and for creating my childhood. Take my money. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, let's check out Fearsome Fist, right? We had a lot of questions about this. First from Iron to Dragon Plate. This creation offers 15 gauntlet variants that can be crafted, purchased, or found in the world. Oh, so we have to find them in the world. Each pair can be affixed with spikes, blades, or horns that give impact to your unarmed attacks. Mix and match with existing armors to diversify your look. Items appear at vendors in chests. Okay, so we've got to find that at vendors, so it's not really a quest per se. But look, those dragon gauntlets look cool with the dragon horns on. And that the are those like ebony or daedric gauntlets? They look cool. Glass gauntlets, kind of nice. Ebony look nice. The, the spiked hide ones are actually cool. The steel ones look great. And the dragon gauntlets get kind of like very monster hunter, to be honest. Um, the horse armor. Obtained at any stable. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, the contest. So this is another quest mod we could do. Behind the din of a tavern chatter, two warriors are embroiled in an argument. To settle it, they embark on a quest to see who can slay a monstrous spider. Follow their trail to learn what became of them. I thought we were going to watch them fight. Including the legendary Fists of Ragengalf and the Ice Blade of the Monarch from um, previous Elder Scrolls titles. So, we start this by reading Anodanto... Lolteller's Lol journal in Candle Hearth Hall. Let me write that down. Candle. Let me quickly find where this is and then we'll jump into Skyrim and find it. I think it's on the Dragonborn. Solfheim, isn't it? Uh, I remember though. Oh, it's an inn in Windhelm. Okay, right. That's really easy to do. So read her journal in the hall. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and continue then. Can you check out the farming mod? We'll do that after this one, yeah? I want like a little bit more excitement and then we'll go and we'll do we'll check out the farming. See what that's like. Elijah Marsh, thank you so much for the fifty dollar donation. My god. Elijah, thank you. Xbox mods still work, exclamation mark. I hope so. I hope they continue to work for the foreseeable future. Alright, we're gonna fast travel over to Windhelm at the gates, where we will find the Candlestone Hearth. 
Can we see the Dwemer people in the new Elder Scrolls? I wish. Yeah, the ice spiders, huh? what it refers to. Okay. Come, Lydia, we must go inside here and sneak a look at a lady's journal. The mod apocalypse was really just a minor inconvenience. <laughs> so I'm assuming her journal is going to be around here. She was such a helpful young lass. So this is the guy we got to talk to. I'm a writer by trade. Not that the people of Skyrim do much reading. We have to find his journal. What kind of writing do you do? I write drama, friend. The legends and history of Skyrim made to excite and inspire. Poor Gerard Germain at the Bard's College has been waiting for my latest work, Olaf and the Dragon. For weeks now, roads are a mess. There's a really cool quest based on that book. Um, I think it's at the Bard's College you get that quest. That's a shame. Indeed it is. May you lose yourself in the pages of a good book. Well, I'm hoping to read your journal. I'm just wondering where it's going to be hidden so we can start this next quest. Is it? Nope. Crimson Dirks. Maybe I have to kill him for it. That does sound a little bit extreme though, doesn't it? Who knows? Khajiit in Starfield question mark? We know they have multiple races, we don't know. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our the lives. Children of Skyrim. Every one of us dies. Those eyes are on fleek. But this Where's this dude's journal, then? We'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and doubt. Well, maybe he. If I talk to him about the book, does he give Gerard me a book? Germain, I'll deliver it to you. You're sure? When you see Gerard, ask for a tip. I'm sure he'll be in a good mood after reading this. As you travel Skyrim, make sure you stop and take in the view from time to time. I shall. Let's have a look at this book then he just gave me. Adonto. Adonto's book. Ola found the dragon. Oh no, this book already exists. This is isn't this is already a quest that was written in the game. It's not his journal. I think we need to see which room he goes in and then just see where his book, his journal My is. Died. Come Things on, go in a room. Probably on the table upstairs over the entrance. It could be. I made my fortune as a This is what I don't like about when Oh my god, you're just gonna lean on that wall, aren't you? This is what I don't like about Creation Club content that doesn't like just give you the quest because like I want to do this quest right now with you guys, but where the hell is the book, mate? It's probably on one of these tables, like you said. The children of Skyrim, and we oh, here it is. The, yeah, you were right. Thank you. Started, caught in a web. It's not uncommon these days to see a warrior of great renown pass through Candlehearth Hall, beckoned by the clarion call of war. Many of them seat themselves by the fire, order their spirit of choice, and regale the patrons with stories of their triumphs. It is, however, a strange thing to watch such a tale write itself in front of you. But what is precisely what happened when two legendary warriors, Grenwulf the Brawler and Holric Frostsworn, sat down at the table beside me? Perhaps it was the mead that shortened their tempers, but it did not take long for a spirited argument to become heated. Grenwolf the Brawler, famous for fighting with only his fists, had compared Holdrick to a soldier who fires a trebuchet, a man who is only as dangerous as the tool he employs. That's a pretty clever insult. I like that. Holdrick, for his part, cut right through Grenwolf's claim, the brawler relied on only his hands, then he should drink his mead from his palm and slice his bread with his fingernails. Not to mention, there is something in this world, Holric said, that fists alone cannot kill, even if fists belong to Rangolf himself. Whereas his sword, the ice blade of the monarch, was blessed by the strength of the frost itself and could cut through the walls of ice that lined the edge of the world. Grenwolf scoffed at the notion, claiming that no man or beast had yet to survive a single punch from him. It was then that the divines or perhaps darker minds offered a resolution. 
A warrior came bursting through the doors, claiming a monstrous spider had taken root in Kronvanger Cave, claiming three, three, his hunting party, his widened eyes and frowned lips, telltale signs of fear, spoke volumes to us all. It was a warning few would fail to heed, but the two heroes saw it as something else entirely, an opportunity to settle their dispute. And so the next morning they departed for Kronvanger Cave. Three weeks have passed since. In my life I have written tales of valour and tragedy, and those that are one and the same. And while the final chapter of Grenwolf and Horik has yet to be written, I fear this may fall into the latter category. Neither saw fit to return. Ah, very cool intro to the quest. I hope it is exciting. I don't know how much of a quest this is going to be, but I know it has a boss in it. And uh, the the story is caught in a web. And we need to find these two heroes at a cave they've wandered off to. Located almost on the other side of Skyrim. And that's that. That's not it. Tundra Homestead. No, no, it's actually south of Windhelm. Just over here. I think this is the cave that's covered by spiders near the springs. It is a very it's got lots of dead mammoths covered in cobwebs, I believe. Yep, this is definitely the one. Look at this. 7 a.m. Let's just wait an hour. It is definitely a cave. Wonder what's inside. Well, Lydia, I think there's probably a few spiders inside. You can hear a dragon as well. There's literally a mammoth that has been killed by spiders out here. I mean, there are a lot of spider eggs as well. Alright, let's head inside, Lilia, and just hope for the best, eh? Do you guys use graphic mods for Skyrim? Which ones? Yeah, my whole mod list is linked down below on our website in the description. So this bow makes us invisible, which is very overpowered. I've got a bad feeling about this. Literally, I can hear like 20 spiders on the other side of this wall. Watch this. Sneak a yeet. Get wrecked, son. It's not even enchanted, it's just insanely fast to draw. How many spiders are in here? Get out of me. God. One second, one second. We need to, we need to make sure. Right now I've left it on novice. We need to put it on legendary for this one, guys. We can't be hanging around. Look at them. They're all coming at me now. They've instantly turned the AI on. Even on legendary difficulty, these spiders are no match for a fearsome dragon boner. The worst kind. Come, Lydia. Need your help. If I get poisoned by one of these creatures, we will definitely die. There seems to be a secret passage here. Ooh, fancy. It looks like a bandit homestead within. A vampire cave hideout, eh? Get wrecked. You're right, Lydia. Is everything okay? Yeah, we'll pretend that didn't happen, yeah? Another bandit up there I can see. A sacrifice. A dark elf sacrifice, it would seem. And a vampire fledgling. Vampire boots. And a vampire thrall that she was feeding off. Lots of bloody corpses around here. Oh, very... Oh, hello there. Am I interrupting something, ladies? Never should have come here. Finish her, Lydia. Thank you. Oh, God, Lydia. Watch out. We're being attacked. My god, why are these vampires so weak? More vampire fledglings. This isn't part of the quest we're on, by the way. I've just taken a detour for this side cave because it's kind of exciting. The spider cage key. Oh, this is the pets of Skyrim. Okay, this is actually a uh, vampire naturalist journal. So this is another creation club quest, ironically, where you can get a spider pet, but we're going to ignore that and just leave now. 
Are those arrows you're using new? No, they're Stalrim arrows from the Dragonborn DLC, my friend. Apparently this spider monster that these two heroes tried to kill is located further inside this cave. I won't stealth the final boss just because that would be too overpowered. I mean, look at these creatures. They don't stand a chance against me. Forward flip. Yeet. Ah! Oh god. We don't want to get hit by the poison, huh? Get wrecked, son. There's how many are there? There's so many of them. Look at him. He's crab walking away. Get wrecked, son. Yeah, Stour and Arrow is overpowered when you have three times sneak damage. Interesting. Damn it. God damn it. Thanks, Lydia. Wait, where did it go? You shot it and it disappeared? What the hell? How did you do that? You magician. You magician, you. Dude, this place goes deep. Oh, it's Frodo Baggins just down there. Look. Crawling in this spider tomb. Go for a swim. See what we find down here. A secret chest. Hmm, elixir of strength. We can give that to Lydia since he, he loves a good strength potion. So she can carry my burdens, oh. don't you, Lydia? Yeah, she does. Do you need to reinstall the game to get rid of broken mods? Uh, it depends what you're on, dude. Sometimes a fresh install can help. You can clean it yourself, though. So this is the brood lair, which I assume this, this oh. giant spider creature is residing within. Right between the eyes. Critical sneak attack, three times damage. We love it. Erect son. No spiders will get past me. I am the slayer of spiders. Defeat the web mother. Alright, let's save the game here. Where is this web mother anyway? I don't see it. Hell of a lot of bodies here, though. Oh, oh God! No. Fuck! Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Oh, I almost wet myself. I need to go to the toilet. Jesus Christ! I'll be right back. I've returned. I've changed my trousers now. <sighs> I'm okay. Look at it, it's monstrous. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so fat. Look at it, it's one of those nasty, big, fat spiders. Wait, why is there a ghost? What is happening? Lydia, you need to hurry up and kill this thing. Oh my god, the ghosts of both of them are attacking it. Keep on attacking. Don't stop. How is this alive? It's not even attacking back. It's just chilling. Thank god they're here. Otherwise, we'd be screwed. God, this is awesome. Oh my god! It's massive! Oh wait, they just disappeared. 
But this was his corpse. He got yeeted by the web mother. What has he got inside it? Frostbite 13 arrows that I fired into it. Well done, Lydia. You literally tanked it. Which means you're more of a hero than any of these other Nords. Grenwolf the Brawler has some unique fists as well. Melee and unarmed attacks do 20% more damage. Block 20% more damage with your shield. That's really good. So that also stacks with the Khajiit's passive, which then you can enchant it as well. No, you can't enchant these. That wouldn't work. 20% more damage. No, they're not as good then as enchanting like other gauntlets. But block 20% more damage with your shield is good. I mean, the gauntlets look really nice. And he's also got a note. Holric thinks there's things I can't push through. But I've punched through walls and I've punched through men. I don't care how thick your armor is, my knuckles are thicker. They're hard and callous and ugly as a Dremora, but they get the job done no matter what. I once met a warrior who claimed he had more... claimed to have the most impenetrable armor ever known to man. But when we fought, I punched him so hard, shock rate waves rearranged every bone in his body. The point his toes were coming out of his ears. So even the armor doesn't give the man inside is as soft as jelly. A spider ain't much different. I've got hard parts, but I've got soft parts. When I ball my fists and put my weight on my back foot, there's nothing anyone can do. Well, you died, didn't you? So you suck. Olrock's Frost Sword. So he has the Blade of the Monarch, which is a unique two-handed weapon. Looks very pretty. You can get that for free on the Nexus, by the way. Target takes 30 points of frost damage to health and stamina. So it's just a blade with a frost enchantment, basically. Renwolf's always been beyond stubborn. On top of that, he lacks patience. When a man like him fails to open a jar, he smashes the glass, rather than rely on a cloth for better grip. If Grenwolf's minds using that cloth in a, is a weakness, in my mind, it's far better not to have your food covered in broken glass. It's a shame because I think he has a talent to be a good swordsman, but his foolish pride won't allow him to admit it. Ah, well. Look at this sword. It looks pretty cool. The so first person... It's almost like a... Uh, that, that? Let's put the gauntlets on. I can't even remember his name. What was his name? Gren. Gren Gauntlets. Where are they? Here we are. Fists. That's why I can find them. Let's go. Have a look. Gauntlets are really nice, and the sword's pretty cool as well. It's a very long sword. I'm pretty sure it's longer than most steel swords in the game. Let's have a look. God damn. I'm not going to lie. Where? Oh my god, there's a hole here. Was there a hole here before? And this thing is massive. One second, let me save the game. We've got to reload for a sec. I need to see this thing where it was hiding. It's so big, I was like, how can I not see it? And then it just jumped in front of me. Right, so if I toggle free camera. Oh my days, look at it. Look at this big booty spider. Just sitting there waiting for me. I literally walked right into it and then dropped down on top of me. All right, let's reload that other save. Now we've killed it. A very cool quest, though. I love that the ghosts of them came back from um, the past to actually, like, conquer the spider that they had. Ooh, amber ore. Yes, we need that. Unyielding ghost. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We get the spell as well? So it's not just the weapons, but we also get the unyielding ghost spell. Which is... One sec. I need to find it. Oh, 
can't remember the name of it. Or it's actually called Spell Tome. Unyielding Ghost. Consumes all magicka and summons an unyielding ghost for 60 seconds. The ghost attributes are equal to twice the amount of magicka consumed. Up to 600. That's insane. So essentially, if you have 600 magicka, you'll get the most powerful version. That's all you need. That's really good. If I use it, I get one with 200 health, magicka, and stamina. Should we go ahead and use it then? Let's, let's see what it looks like. We use all my magicka, which I've never done before. So it says low magicka. Unyielding ghost. It's got the... Um, Dragon, what's it called? The dragon armor, dragon priest armor, and uh, ancient Nordic sword. He's like an ancient Nordic warrior. I don't know if that's added by another mod, like in the creation club, or if it's from this quest, but it's cool. Love the concept. Uh, that's already like a very unique concept, right? Like you summon, you use all of your magicka, and then you get like the stats based on how much magic magic you use. I love that. That's really clever. Just makes it a little bit more interesting instead of like, this costs five magic and does ten damage. Alright, so the other thing you guys wanted me to do was um go back to the main menu. Was the farming mod. So this mod lets you become a farmer. Which is really interesting. So let's just open up the creation club. Just wanna find the mods and where I need to go. I think it's I think it was in Rorik's said based on like the pictures that they had for it. I'm also gonna get some more G fuel while we wait for this to load. Hey everyone, necromatic grimoire content won't spawn for me. Has anyone else happened? I, I guess there'll be bugs. It's Bethesda. What do we expect? Um, so, it was going to be in gameplay, right? Farming. Okay, here we go. Farming. Build, upgrade, and manage your own farmstead in the heart of White Run. Elect a steward to oversee the day to day and purchase upgrades such as animal pens, windmills, apiaries, and stables. Whether it's building a commercial empire like Nazim, growing crops, or working with animals. There's no shortage of gameplay options here. Created by Virginia Stillfeathers. Myth. Quest update. The quest... Unquiet Dead. Start investigating Gold Hills Plantation east of Rorikstead. Golden Hills Plantation. Okay, so this is what we need to do. So let's go ahead and continue, and then we'll go over to Rorikstead and begin that quest. <laughs> Got to top up my G fuel while I'm at it. Mm, so, Rorikstead, where are you? All the way over here. So, Golden Mills. I don't think it's actually a location, is it? I think it's just like an unmarked location. It didn't exist in the game before, so. He's going to turn into Nazim! My life goals and ambitions have been. Why is everyone outside at 1 a.m., mate? It's mad. Madness. Gonna have some um, G Fuel hydration. Bear with me, friends. Gotta create myself some more G Fuel. It's 30% off. Link below. Use code ESO for the 30% reduction to the price. It's a sugar-free energy drink. This version's like got no caffeine in there. Which is quite nice. So have the mods been properly integrated instead of getting all the quests at once? Yes, yeah, so now instead of that, you um you basically have to walk to the location 
and then you'll get the quests like like a natural you know like all the other skyrim quests basically uh, and and so, some of them okay, though like you have like 20 couriers come up to you and be like i've got a letter i've got a letter i've got a letter um at, at the start if you're a high level some of them have level requirements another fine day at work in the fields i don't envy those city folk who miss out on the joys of working the land disgusting high i'll tell off. you who i don't envy those poor children who lost their parents in this war lives lost crops burned land ruined there's no greater sin than war and yet you were an orphan and you've made something of your life i was lucky if you hadn't rescued me i'd probably be a thief a mercenary or something even worse it's too fine a day to dwell on such things let's get back to work and forget about wars and orphans for a while name's ennis if you've got friends who do business in white run they might know me why is he a skooma trader? Did you see those guards? Get out of line and you'll have them to deal with. Alright, Jesus Christ, lady. You need to threaten me. Was it east? I'm pretty sure it was east. Yeah, it looks like there's a farm over here. One sec, there's a deer. There's a deer. Let me get out my bow of shadows. The most overpowered bow in the game that makes me invisible. Fire it right up the rectum. Oh, yeah, right in the rectum. Get Rex. Look at this. This one doesn't even know. Running for his life. Still running for his life. This one will hit him. This one will hit him. Taking cover behind a rock. Damn it. My archery skills are rusty, guys. Very rusty. Alright, let's go over to this farmstead. Now I've failed at that. A very nice bow indeed. I mean, look at this. How can you compete? I'm invisible. Big spook. So this is the mysterious farm. It looks like there's a ghost outside. Can we go and talk to this guy? Death comes for you now. Death comes for you now? That's not very nice, is it? Oh, he's gonna go try kill Lydia. Watch out, Lydia. There's a, there's a. Who are you? A ghost. Oh my God! Lydia doesn't care. Look at her. Damn, this guy's tanky though. Finish him, Lydia. Kill that stupid peasant. How dare he attack us? I can't believe he just attacked you with a woodcutter's axe. Search the plantation for clues. So we've got the quest to become a farmer. Upon reaching Golden Hills Plantation, I discovered that the rumors were true. This place is indeed haunted by the restless dead. What is driving these spirits to these si these simple farmers to such rage? And what such what sort of treachery caused their untimely deaths? I should search the farm to find out more. Come, Lydia, we shall. Wait, what's that? Is that an Imperial War Camp? That is the White Run Imperial Camp. Activate fertile soil. Item planted. Oh, wow. Okay. This is going to be interesting. You can plant anything then? Any alchemy ingredients? I plant butterflies. Interesting. I wonder if I can plant blight wood. Uh, you know, the Blight Root, whatever it's called. The one that is the most powerful alchemy ingredient in the game that makes you a really stupidly strong potion that does ridiculous damage levels. Anyway, there's a torn page here, which might give us some more information. I feel strange, hot and cold all at once. My hands shake. Hard to write. So dizzy. I think I've been poisoned. Seems she's gotten the better of me after all. <gasps> Lydia? Is this your ex-husband? His name was Irval, and he's a dead what farmer you... and his ghost attacked us for some reason. Okay, got still no. here. Follow me, Lydia. Go and check out his house because there's blood outside of it. I'm a bit sus, Lydia. Huh? Oh. Uh, the jar in route. That was the one I was looking for. Very worrying. He's got a journal here.
He had no belongings, though. All right, let's go and read his journal. Since he's dead, 14th of first seed. Today's the first day on in our new lives. I brought a sizable piece of land with a rundown farmhouse for dirt cheap just outside of Rorikstead. No one else wanted it on account of how rocky it is. Too many boulders, the other men said, but Joquil and I have strong backs and a willing heart. We'll get those boulders out and turn this fertile land into a plantation they could only dream of. This will be the perfect place to raise our little rid. 21st of second seed. Long day. Hands hurt. Almost too much to write. Farmhouse is repaired and the first plants are in the ground. Feels good. We did it. Draquil kissed me tonight. Wow. Must have been really friend zone there. Like she did when we were first married. Her eyes are cooling me. First of sun's height. We have harvested our first crops today. It wasn't much, but it's a start. When I watched the sun's ray first break over the horizon on our field today, I knew what to name this place. Golden Hills Plantation. After Akatosh's glorious light. Jesus. Soon it will be an inheritance worthy of our son. Just a bit longer, I know. It. 23rd of Frostfall. My heart is troubled. Rin is fast growing into a strapping young boy, though he spends too much time playing with that wooden sword of his and dreaming of running off to join the Legion. But my dear wife, Jonquil, and her strangeness worries me. Sometimes she'll disappear for hours at a time and then turn up in the house as though she'd been there all along. I often see her carrying a basket full of strange dark flowers. And she won't tell me what they're for or where she's got them. And last winter, when Rin fell ill with fever, Draquil proceeded to produce a small black bottle from who knows where and poured who knows what down his throat. Only a few minutes later, the fever was gone. Draquil refused to tell me what was in the bottle or where she got it. I was so happy that he sa she saved our little boy's life, of course, but Mara preserved me. But I'm afraid my wife is a Daedra worshipper or a witch. Could be true. Rorikstead is pretty sus when it comes to Daedra worshippers. I did a video on that. Secret of Rorikstead. Sixteenth of mid-year. Rin has been missing for three days. My little boy. I've searched everywhere, but there's no trace of him. Even his favorite toy sword is missing. What if the wolves scoffed him? Or well, Brigand snatched him away. The quill has been watching me. I don't like the look in her eyes. It's pretty worrying. And she hasn't cried at all. What kind of mother doesn't cry when her child is missing? What if I dare not even put thought to paper? It's unthinkable. I found it. I found Jaquil's secret. I found the place she's been disappearing to. The potions, the plants, the books. Such evil and unnatural things I found down there. Divines, help me. My wife is a witch! I didn't want to open her foul books. But I had to know. I had to. Deadly Nightshade. That's what the plant is called. The one I saw her sneaking around with. She grows it everywhere in this hidden place. Deadly Nightshade can actually be used and, has, and was used in old time by people uh, in herbalism in order to cure them because if it was used in small doses it could actually help them she must have poisoned my son i've seen the sneer on her face the laughter in her eyes as she watches me tearing apart the farm looking for him she was mocking me i've never felt rage like this i'm shaking with it sweating with it i know exactly what i've got to do my son's spirit whispers to me demanding vengeance i keep an axe by the door for dealing with wild animals it will do with dealing for the witch as well it reminds me of the book the woodcutter's wife that um we did a if you guys uh search on youtube scaring book reading series oh my god broken axe handle so i guess she didn't die because it's broken interesting i want to hear her side of the story now 
Um, I did a Scarum book reading series um, illustrated by my fiance Kim. And uh, one of the books we wrote, or uh, I read and she illustrated, it's called The Woodcutter's Wife. It's a really good book. Quite a short story, but like really cool. I definitely recommend searching that later if you have time. It's got a creepy basement, man. I don't like that. Yellow Book of Riddles, another good one. Kill before you... What's that? Where was it? Killing before you're killed, yeah. The child's bedroom here and some practice. <sighs> Didn't miss you, Lydia. Oh my god, you're so fat. All right, let's go down here. I'm a bit concerned about what we might find, though. The secret button here. I think there's something hidden behind the door. Or... I sense of death comes for you now. Look out, Lydia! The bloody ghost! Oh. Oh no. This is so sad. What is this? Something weird in this on this barrel. Oh, it's flour. Thought someone had a good time here. I can't believe he killed his own wife. I'm standing in a basket. Please, Scaram, stop. Oh, oh. You know what? We'll take this. I will show you guys something cool after this. Is there not a note here? She had no. Oh, I gotta read her journal, man. I hope she's actually a witch, otherwise this is super sad. Torchbug Thiorax. She's making health and stamina potions for the bedroom, mate. What is an alambic? So many plants to plant. She even has glowing mushrooms. This is a pretty good herbalism spot, actually. I'll take all of this. Oh, one sec, what was that? Canis fruit. That's the nightshade. You can even close it. Lydia. A secret hideaway now. Very cool. I love that. Okay, let's read. No, her journal. Yeah, yeah. Let's read her journal. See what happened here. 23rd of first seed. Irvau wanted so badly to make a go at being farmers. So here we are now with our own rocky plot of land and a ruined old farmhouse with a leaky roof. Not what I dreamed of, but we'll make the best of it. At least the soil is good, even if it's full of boulders. I'll be able to get a nice garden going with all the ingredients I need for my potions. The income from that should get us through the first winter, if nothing else. Oh, she's literally just an alchemist. Tenth of second seed. I found a secret room. Walked off in the basement. It will do nicely for my alchemy lab. I love my husband dearly, but he can be a bit pig-headed dolt when it comes to the gentle magics of the earth. If it wasn't for my potions, Little Rim would have perished last winter from a fever. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. This is so depressing. First of Frostfall. Our plantation is doing well enough, but Yorov's eyes are getting bigger than his purse. He was taking... Talking... He was talking of purchasing a wagon recently. Like we don't sometimes struggle to put food on the table. A wagon, honestly. I've seen the ugly look he gives my potions and herbs. But where else are we going to get the money for all the things he buys? Next thing you know, he'll be trying to buy another farm. 13th mid-year, Rin has gone missing. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. His little wooden sword is missing too. Gods preserve me. I hope he hasn't run off. He does realise how dangerous it is out there in the tundra. 16th of mid-year... It's been three days now. My little boy is still gone. I don't like how Unvro is looking at me. His eyes too dark. Too still. Like a frozen lake. I think I even heard him mutter something about getting what I deserve. Could he have... No, I dare not even put the thought to paper. He didn't. He must have. That monster's killed my son. And now he looks at me with those hate-filled eyes and a mocking smirk. He despises my alchemy arts too much. 
that look that he that he took my son from me to punish me. I've never brewed a poison before, but I know how it's done. And I know how to bottle death. A few drops in his mead and my child will be avenged. It's done. The gods will damn me, but they will damn him more for the murder of a child. Rin, I'm so sorry. I wish I could have... Wait, I hear something. Oh my god. So she was... She, they both thought that they killed their own son, but clearly he had actually run off and they were both wrong. I don't know why they didn't check the Imperial camp, but I'm going to check there and see if the boy's still alive. His name's Rin. Wait, isn't Rin an adoptable child in Skyrim? Or am I being crazy? I'll, I'll have to search in a second, but like, I'm pretty sure you can adopt Rin. His parents killed each other, and this is like the story behind them. So is this the poisoned mead? No, this mead isn't poisoned. There's still a child's bed here. <gasps> Under the bed, there is Rin's journal. The plot thickens. Ma and Pa are fighting again. They're always fighting these days. Ma hates how obsessed Pa is with the cows and the price of wheat and all the boring stuff. Pa doesn't like Mars flowers or our bottles of goopy stuff. I don't think the goopy st I don't like the goopy stuff either, but it does make me feel better when I'm sick, so I guess it's okay. I can't wait till I'm old enough to join the Legion and get away from the farm. I've been practicing every day with my sword. I think I'm good enough to be a captain or even a general, but Pa doesn't want me to join the Legion because he says they have to take over the farm when I'm old enough. Ma doesn't want me to because it's dangerous. That's about the only thing they agree on. I bet if I defeated a bandit or killed a wolf or something, that would show them. Then they'd have to let me join up with the Legion. Pa always tells me to stay away from the old well. Oh no. The one towards the tall monument out by the tree sitting on a rock. Wolves like to hunt out there, he says, so that's where I'll go. I'll kill a wolf and bring home its head and I'll prove to them I'm a man, not a baby. I'm tired of listening to Ma and Pa, and each other anyway. Oh no. Are you kidding? Why is this so depressing? Out of the way, Lydia. This is so sad. If I find a child's body, I'm genuinely going to be upset. We better be able to adopt this child, man. So wait, um, find the old well. Yeah, that is my objective. The Imperial camp is just over there. And they have patrols out, so it's a bit concerning that this child was just, you know, in the wilderness alone. Can you marry Ingen? I don't know. What the rebels like to forget is that the Empire is what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. But the rebels think you're weak because you signed the White Gold Concordance and agreed to outlaw Talos worship. That's why they rebelled against you. So we're not far from the monument. Should just be over the hill here. Vanilla Skyrim, pretty nice looking. It's a well put together story though. Dude, the story is fantastic. It is just reading loads of notes, but this one makes it makes sense that the notes are there, you know? It makes sense that I'm reading journals. Here we go, watch this. Oh my god, it's gonna get killed by a saber cat. Let's watch this. Oh, get Rex on. Oh my god, it's like jumping on his back. How is it still alive? How is it escaping that? Oh, he stopped. Get Rex on. Right in the side of the nut. I can't believe it escaped a saber cat. I'm impressed. Anyway, go and find this uh, this place. Nests of the tree on the hillside outside the farm. That's cool. I don't need any bird eggs, though. 
Oh, I didn't defeat it. I'm a sneak attack. I'm surprised. Surprise, I am. All right, so this is the well, apparently. How far away is this well? Dude, the well is... No, one sec. Where is it? I can't show it on the map. It just says find the old well. But it must it must be like nearer the farm, right? No way it's out here. Let me just quickly on top of this miscellaneous quest in case I'm just following a wild goose. Yes, I am. Okay, so it's got to be near the farm. There's no way it's like this far away. Oh, I know where it is. I shouldn't have fast traveled there. I was thinking, is it that shrine just here? Yeah. Yeah, he even said in the journal. Here's the monument. Oh, there's... Okay, that's the iron sword. I thought it was a wooden sword. I was thinking it would be around here. Maybe it's not. It must be closer to the farm then, in that sense. But he did mention the monument where um, the, the wolves are hunting. I thought it would be close to here. But you can see... Oh, okay. There's a new well that they've added to the game just here. You can see the wolves around it as well. Maybe the kid's hiding in the well and still alive. Get wrecked. Wait, what? How? <laughs> he just dodged like an absolute boss. He just like fell over and rolled around. Get wrecked. Oh my god, that went right into the rectum. Right into the rectum of the beast. A beautiful shot of archery. There's actually a tree growing on a rock here. Oh no. A child skeleton. It's even labelled as a child skeleton. And Bethesda don't let kids die. Yeah, here we are. Oh, loot that free gold though. Rin's toy sword. Return Rin's toy sword to the farm. Oh no, he couldn't get in the well because it was blocked. Well, I guess you won't be enjoy joining the Imperial Legion. Awkward. Yeah, it fell before I hit, yeah. There's a bug when you paralyze them. Uh, it activates the paralysis upon firing. Um, and then you miss your Scaramatri shot. It's the paralysis bug without the unofficial patch kind of messes up some stuff. Okay, here we go. That is so tragic. It's like beyond tragic. Okay. Oh no, we gotta place the sword in the child's bedroom. Speak to Rin, where is he? Jesus Christ, Lydia. Oh, they're reunited. Hi there. Your family can rest in peace now. Thanks a lot. Here, take this for all your hard work. Oh no. Oh. How am I liking the anniversary edition update so far? It's depressing beyond belief. That was so sad. What was he giving me? I don't even know what he gave me. I think it was probably like a note with the deeds to the farm or something, but... Vigil's orders. Oh no, that's another quest. White Run Home Decorating Guide. Torn Notes. Steward's Notes. Skeever Trouble. I don't know which note he'd gave me. Or did he even give me something? I don't think he did. Well, I guess this farm is now. He gave me a key. The huh? key. Ah, started farmer's life for me. Plants crops one out of ten. Ah, great. Lydia, I guess we're farmers now. What was the key for? Oh, a key for the farm. Well, that makes sense. 
E for the Gold Hills Plantation. Okay, there we go. I've planted some crops. I like the animation as well. I'm going to plant all the mother's poisons that she made to kill the husband. Glowing mushrooms. How are they going to grow out here? That'll be interesting. Nightshade. Yep, let's grow some poisons. This is going to be the poisoned patch. Really like the animation there when things grow. Very cool. Do death bells. Do nightshades. Very nice. Hire a steward for the plantation because I'm way too important to do it myself. Oh god, I think... Oh, I thought I just put seven in there. Oh, I screwed it there. Right, there's like several plants in this one plantation. Then we got room for like tons more over here as well. Right, I'm just going to carry on planting death bell. I'm going to have tons of death bell once they all grow. Kind of cool that you can plant them all, though. I mean, I assume you would be able to plant the um, the jarring root, which is one of the best. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll, I'll test it right now, guys. Uh, let me just quickly find what the jarring root. Because in theory, you could actually get unlimited jarring root legitly if you did this. So I want to try it with console commands and just add it to my inventory. So player dot add item one b c b c. So now we have a jarring root. Let's grow it right next to the wheelbarrow. One sec. Oh no, one sec. Can it not? Oh, it can't be planted. No, it's not programmed to grow. Oh, that would have been so cool. That's sad, isn't it? My field's going to look awesome at night. It's just going to be like loads of glowing mushrooms like Blackreach. It's going to be pretty cool, huh? I'm going to like literally harvest everything and eat every ingredient I've planted. All right. We planted tons of stuff. Most of the farm's planted, in fact. You can actually see the boulders in here that they... Oh, no, they're not there. I lied. Immersion broken. Um, okay, so the other thing we need to do is hire a steward... Um, so where am I going to hire a steward? We also have a windmill as well. You can upgrade your farm and add lots of things. So, I mean, planting the food is just the basics of it. So, hire a steward. I would find a steward to manage the day-to-day -day operations. Perhaps one of my allies would be willing to take up the job after I showed them the place. Or if I was to get married, it would make this place our home and my spouse could run the farm. Get my wife to do it, man. Uh, Lydia? Where are you? I've got your back. You interested? I want her to say no, because I don't want her Let's to be my going, steward. Then. She comes on the adventures with me. Who are we going to ask? Who shall I ask to be my steward? What do you guys think? Who shall I ask? Eat the giant root. Okay. Here, so I just came to the stream. Have you already shown the new armors that you can craft no 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 i've not done that so we can do that later um who shall i ah follow i mean one easy follower we could do is riverwood i hate sven for example maybe i can ask fiandel to be my steward uh let me just move this so i can see you guys benor ask a mage that would be funny wouldn't it is that child just running into the wilderness? Okay. Yandel. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. We'll quickly do this quest, and then he can become a follower since it's so easy. He's a bard. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yeah. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. You don't sound very sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? Yes. I, match that I will do that. I'm a dick, so I'll do that. Maybe I could just kill Sven. That would also work. 
Hmm. Hey, I'm not gonna make Jazargo farm my fields. No, no adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Here, Camilla, I have a letter for you from Sven. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. I'd better get going. Lol. Well, alternatively, we could marry Camilla and then she could stay at our house and farm. What do you guys think about that, huh? Get your spouse to do it, am I right? Where's Fiandel? Ah, uh, it's a side quest, yeah. Talk to Fiandel. Where are you, Fiandel? Bastard. Where are you hiding? Garrett, he's just chopping wood at midnight. Where's that silly elf? I have to wait, it's like 2 a.m. Come on. Oh my god! It's that blinding flash of light. There's an Alduin just appeared and a time wound opened up. Is Fiandel, is Fiandel still alive after that? Should I be concerned? Oh, there he is, you silly wood elf. Tell me, as soon as you've given Camilla, Riverwood's agreeable enough. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. 25 gold. Jesus, follow me. I need your help. Looks like you've already got someone with you. Ah, one sec. I'm right behind you. I'll head back home if you need me. There's be- Looks follow like me. you've already got someone with you. No, 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 no. What do you mean? I'll head back home if you need me. Your follower leaves your service. Okay, great. Maybe you lead the way. I okay, now... Back. Oh, I always ask Lily to follow me again, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take him to the farm. Damn, you making me unfollow Lydia. It's been years. But where the hell is the farm in here? Near Rorok said, isn't it? <laughs> the third option. Marry Camilla and get her to farm the land for eternity, like she hates to. I've got your back. I'm looking for I'm looking to hire a steward for my plantation. Are you interested? You earn more than twenty five gold chopping wood. I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine studding here. Uh, there's a dragon behind you. We might need more than a steward, Fiandum. Uh, I need you to hire some farmhands uh, to defend the farm against dragons. I'll see to it at once. Fantastic. I'd like you to purchase a horse for me as well. I don't think it's going to help against the dragons, though. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm dead. What? <laughs> okay. This is why I'm Lydia right is just you. better than you. Okay, we're going back to the farm, but this time I'm going to be ready for the dragons. I'll defend the farm with my life. That dragon truly came out of nowhere, dude. I'm like paranoid now. I've got your back. I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine studding here. The one sec, this 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 is voice acted, right? Oh no, this is the same the same voice as they used. Wait, it's back! Fiano, it's back! The dragon is back! Run inside. Yeah, legendary difficulty doesn't mess around, man. This is why I need Lydia. And my bow of invisibility. One sec, there's an alchemy. There's an alchemy station down here, which means I can make the most powerful poison in Skyrim. With my very limited alchemy skill. Here we go. <laughs> the alchemy tutorial. We've never used alchemy before. The so jarring root. Um, what else has poison properties? It's like Daedra Heart should, but it doesn't. Um, oh no, I planted all the poisons. No vampire dust. We failed. Force fight one handed. You 
failed. Stop failing. I don't really want to level my um, my alchemy creation either. Water like underation. Well, that's going to... Actually, oh no, that does help me. That does help me. Bear with me, guys. We have a plan. We have a battle plan. Are you ready? I'm going to go outside. I'm going to get out our bow. And where's this dragon? We need to sneak attack it. Our life depends on this shot. I missed. We're dead. We're screwed. Never should have come here. Okay, okay, here it comes. Oh god, that does no damage. Yandel's dead. Means we're screwed. Oh god, it's coming. It's coming! Oh my god, this is my steward. This is my steward. Should have hired Lydia. Oh Jesus Christ. Nope, we're dead. We are so dead. Do I have... Do I have a shout? No, I need... I need, like, an um, ethereal form or something. Otherwise, we're just screwed. It's gonna instant kill me. Slow time would still kill me, because the fire is gonna do even more damage. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> Okay, okay. Don't worry. Got this. <sighs> mm hmm. Now, I was just trying to be a farmer, guys. I mean, come on. We're gonna have to create a distraction. That's for sure. The instant detection isn't good. I like how he pulls out his bow pretending as if he's going to, like, bloody help me now or what. Alright, let's get that invisibility. Still not in sneak. Doesn't do anything to him, man. He's just too powerful. But we have got our conjuration spell that we picked up. The unyielding ghost. Let's summon this. And then... get my crossbow out. I've got two bolts for you, buddy. I need to swap back. We don't really have any anti-dragon material. Oh my god, he's fighting. He's fighting him. It's gonna be a long battle. Where's he going? Oh god. Gotta run. We've got to use this windmill to like sort of just hide behind. Otherwise he's gonna kill us. Ancient dragons aren't even the strongest dragons in the game for goodness sake. At least he's got his attention. Mate, look at how much damage I do. It's nothing. Nothing I say. She got a pelt in, boys. Use calm. It's lagging. What's lagging? The game? Critical strike. The legendary dragon is too strong for my farmstead. I mean, worst case, I'll just turn down the difficulty. It would be cool to enslave the dragon and have it work my farm for me. Perhaps I could even marry the dragon. Here he comes back around. Oh, oh god, oh god, he's looking at me this time. Killing Fiandu. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll turn down the difficulty because I will literally just be farming this dragon for like ages. Otherwise. <laughs> Lol, what is it doing? It looks so weird right now. How much damage do I do to you now then? I'm still missing it. I mean, it's still, it still does a lot of damage because it's an ancient dragon. 
but at least I should be able to survive. Oh, okay, I can attack through this object. That is very interesting. Not ideal for me at all. All right, conjuration, unyielding ghost. Let's go. Oh my god, come on. My conjuration has increased to 16. That's when you know it's got real. Where is it? Well, there it is. Mate, the... Now he's pissed. Yeah, staggered. Now I can't take off again. We've got him down now. Oh my god, he just killed the unyielding ghost. Lucky he was already dead, right? Die, dragon. I'll finish him. Here we go. Your X up. Yes, that's right. I've destroyed the dragon. I'll use this gold for my farm. Now, Fiandal, come here. We must talk business about the farmstead. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a village. Bit rude, but okay. Unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be I need sure. you to hire some farmhands to work the farm. I'll see to it at once. That was quick. It was an animal pen. I'd like you to purchase a horse for me. I think you'll want a stable before we spend good coin on a horse. Fine. Uh, buy livestock. I need to build a pen for it first. Fine. I will build furnishings. What room would you like me to furnish? I would like you to furnish the kitchen because it's full of corpses. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. Is um, there anything else you need? Yes, I need you to make. Of course. What room would you like me to the furnish? The dining area, nice. Very good. Is there anything else you need? Yes. What room would you like me to furnish? An alchemy and enchanting lab. Apparently my current basement death area isn't good enough. The old man's dead wife with an axe in her skull is a little bit unnerving, so please get rid of that. Very good. I'll make all the arrangements. You is make those arrangements. Yes. What room would you like me to furnish? A loft. Very good. I'll give Is you the house walkthrough momentarily, friends. Of course. What room would you like? A master to bedroom. Good. Is there anything else you need? It already has a of master course. bedroom and what a child's room? bedroom, but I'll buy that as well because I think you're probably scamming me at this point, Fiando. But where did it come from? You'll need to build a pen for it first. You'll need to build a pen for it first. I think you'll want a stable before we spend good coin on a horse. Okay, so how do I build a stable then? Do I have to build it myself? Oh, it's like the hearthfire thing. We have to build it. Farmer's workbench. Animal pens. Can I activate god mode? Just so I can show you guys this stuff for the sake of the stream. I don't want to have to harvest everything. Nope. We need four iron ingots, four firewood, hinges, iron fittings, two quarried stone to make a blacksmithing's workshop. Exterior decoration. Plant boxes. A farm hand bunkhouse. Oh, they don't have any square to sleep right now. We also want a stable for our horses. And a windmill. With a grindstone. Look at that. That's cool. Um, blacksmithing workshop and an apiary. Where we can produce bees, honey. Animal pens where we get to get goats, chickens. To be purchased for the farm. Okay, okay. Well, we want to build this stuff then. Apparently my farmhands have nowhere to sleep. Let's have a quick look in the house, then we'll, we'll buy all that stuff. I don't see the Creation Club missions. No, that's because you have to read the description and then go to the location to get the quest. So we've removed the child's corpse from our bedroom. It looks a lot nicer now. Children of Anand. We've also got a nice pie here. From the future waifu as an oven. You can cook special stuff in an oven, by the way, if you didn't know. Have a look. Apple dumplings. All these nice ingredients. Purely for the hearth fire stuff. Very nice. Um, there's also a cooking pot here. Traditional, obviously. And it seems like we've cleaned up the mess in here. Oh, no, it's removed the secret door from... Oh, where would they remove the secret door? I want that back. I'd rather have a corpse in my secret room with an alchemy table instead of a proper alchemy lab. We do have a mannequin down here, which is quite cool. It's like a nice player home. 
A nice farmstead player home with some dead rabbits. Fantastic. And this is the new bedroom, which is a, a slight improvement. We have a, a business ledger. We can open this and look over our fields. So it doesn't tell you where to go. Well, once you have the quest, it's in your journal, like this, for example. Build an animal pen. It tells you what to do, um, but it doesn't tell you where to go until you get to the location. So in the quest description, it will be like, uh, on the Creation Club page, it will say, hey, go to this place and speak to this person, and then you just find where that is and you go there. That's how it works. So... We need to use firewood and nails. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly use console commands here. Firewood, Skyrim. Just to make this quick so we can actually like look at the content. Um, player year.add item 6f. I nine three. I guess I'll just get fifty firewood. That'll be enough. Oh, I'm already over encumbered. Oof. We also need nails. Thank you so much, Anony Moose, for the donation. Remember the joke about Esburn and the child? Oh my God, Esburn! Oh, dude, I can't believe you watched the original Skyrim live stream. I was thinking about that. Do you guys want to see another Skyrim playthrough? Oh, this is always a fun one. One, two, three, four, three hundred F. So essentially, we need to know what the hearth fire load order is, which I don't remember. So it's one of these. It'll probably be like five or something. No, maybe it's load four. Three. Yep, there we go. It's three. Great. Good for future reference. So now we can build a stables. We also need some straw for the animal pens. You know, will you do another Skyrim VR episode? I don't know. the The last one didn't go very well. It didn't like get that many views. And it's so it's so so much effort to set up. So I might I might do it, but I don't know yet. Zero zero five a six a. 68. That's the straw we need. Let's build this. We also need a blacksmithing workshop. Oh my god, we need a lot of stuff for this. Well, I will build it momentarily, but first. Where's my stable? I built a stable. Where is it? Where are the animal pens? Where's my stable? I think these are the animal pens, though. Ah, oh, look, this is where the bees are. Should be able to harvest honey from these now. They have five bees. I'm just going to eat one. Just put my hand in there, pull out a bee and just eat it. It's raw. Fantastic. Take all of the bees out of my apiary. I assume they respawn. Oh my god, look. The death bells are already harvestable. Oh, so I can replant things in here. Otherwise, it'll just be the same stuff. Oh my god, these glowing mushrooms look very dead. I'll take them anyway. They're not actually glowing, are they, really? So I can reactivate the soil to plant something else here, or I can just carry on, like, farming these same plants, which is awesome. Really like that. It's very, uh, we'll, we'll rest in a moment. And then this is the other plant plot I harvested. The canis root in it. And some listerwort. Mushrooms. Is the stable behind my house? No. I don't know where the stable is. Oh, well. Um, what else do we need to build? So, I also need to build a blacksmith area, which I need four iron ingots. Dude. Definitely worried about the spiders. 
Um, are you using any mods or just creation club stuff? Uh, I think there's some mods on still, but not many. Just a few as well. Ace four. Uh, let's just get 20 ingots. Uh, then I also needed hinges and iron fittings. Have a look what hinges are. I mean, if I had the blacksmith's workshop, I could have just made the hinges, but instead, alas, I have not chosen to do that. 30011. I also need iron fittings. I really enjoyed the Skyrim VR, so I wish it was more popular, but it just didn't seem to be that popular at the time. I want to know it's zero three zero zero three zero three five. Um, get out of those, I guess. All we need. What else do we want? Two quarried stone. God. Um, and then we can just build everything and not worry about it, you know? Three, three, oh, six, C. All right, there we go. Exterior decoration can also be built. Oh, we also need a lock for this. Build the stable and the windmill and the farmhouse. We need a lock and some more quarried stone. So what's a Skyrim lock? Is this DLC available for special edition? Yeah, you can buy it or you can get it from the Skyrim anniversary. It's like an update to it. Um, 3012. Need a lock for your farmhouse bunkhouse for those peasants. Right, that's that. Oh, one set, one set. Look at this. This isn't a blacksmith area. It's like a bloody prison. So now I have my own blacksmith forge. Oh, we can look at the new items I can forge as well on, on that in a moment. And the new weapons. And there's also a chest here with some horse hide, which is a bit mysterious because I have a stable with no horses. There's also an area I can plant more crops in. For some reason... Let's go ahead and put some mushrooms in there. Why not? Um, and then we have the smithing area, the tanning rack, charcoal smelter. There's actually a well here. No dead bodies down there yet. And oh my god, the farmstead house is huge. Like a whole other farm here. What time is it? It's like 7 p.m. and these two NPCs are just standing here. What do you need? What do you want, cat? What do you say to me? I own Be careful. you. You know who I am. Hey, watch it. <sighs> Remind me not to make you angry. Oh my god, they have a voice for that? Need something? You're my farmhand. Give me my arrow back. Hide this body so no one gets here in the morning and is slightly concerned. There we go. Can't believe she actually responded and she went inside. Go inside and check what out the house. Agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. I need you to hire another fine man. No questions asked. I'll see to it at once. Good day. Don't eat my cheese. Maybe you never should have come here. I'll let you live this time. Chill, 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 chill. Hey, what were you sleeping with this one or something? Why are you suddenly got a problem? Wait, what? It froze. Oh, okay. Last witness killed. Ah, 
I guess you're the new steward. Interesting. So I broke the mod. Talk to Fiandil about purchasing livestock. Fiandil? Can I buy some livestock, please? Maybe? Hey, watch it! Shut up! Oh, I guess we're screwed on the farmhand front now as well. Alright, let's reload. Hmm. Alright, I need I need a new farmhand. I'll see to it at once. Thank you very much. Do you all sleep in the same room then? Just here. Purchase a horse for me. Oh good. There's one I've had my eye on. I'll see if it's still for sale. Sounds like he's gonna go mate with it or something. I'd like to purchase livestock for the plantation. Certainly. What did you have in mind? A cow? I'll keep an eye out for a good cow to purchase. Is there anything else you need? Wait a few days for Golden Hill Plantation to start making money! I make money from Certainly. this? What did you have in mind? I need a few goats. Obviously, enjoy a good goat. I'll see to it at once. Oh, I bet you will, Fiandle. You dirty wood you elf. Do? Justin, thanks so much for the 14 Zar. Will you play Elden Ring when it comes out? Oh, I definitely want to. It looks incredible. Certainly. What did you have in mind? A couple of chickens as well. So if anyone does attack the farmstead, the guards of White Worm will come and defend it. I'll see to it at once. I want to be able to kill need? a chicken in my own farm and not get arrested for it. That would be pretty magical. Would you like some bread, Maybe Fiamma? already met Camilla Valerius. Enjoy it. Yours. I gift it to you. Camilla shared my affections. It's really sad that Fiandos just here talking about Camilla. Yes. Dreamily. Need something? Hmm? Hmm, interesting. She's a lot quieter now. Last time she insulted me, she saw what happened to her. Do the glitches and exploits still work? Probably, yeah. Maybe I should leave her here as a warning. A car's horse. I see how good this horse is. Alright. Gallop! Ramming speed! Alright, let's go and hunt some more. Oh my god, I'm invisible riding a horse? Amazing! Stealth 1 million. Can't even see what I'm aiming at. Oh my god! He didn't even know what came! He thought it was just a wild horse roaming the wilderness, and then BOOM! Sneaky Khajiit attacks. What's this over here? Let's go have a look. Who's this guy? Hello? Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. Be grateful all you want, old man. Alright, let's go back to the farm. My work here is done. Will you be streaming Starfield when it releases? Yeah, 100% man. Though I won't have early access to it because Bethesda don't like me, so... I'll just stream it probably when it comes out and we'll just do like a live playthrough. Alright, I'm done with this horse now. I'm bored. I want a different colour horse. Move your tail. Oh my god. That was brutal. Alright, we can eat this one. I was hoping I could get some horse hide. This could be of like unlimited hide, basically. Love it. Have you ever played Skyrim on... No, never. Why does Bethesda not like you? Because I was honest with the way I felt about what the company was doing with Fallout 76 and all the microtransactions, like $20 for power armor. Um, and also, I posted like a community post saying I wanted to dis my distance myself from them that year. Um, and I think they've since then they've been a lot more communicative and they've improved the game a lot. But um, they've never forgiven me for that post I made, so they no longer talk to me or 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 like send me any press stuff. Um, I I just play the games for enjoyment and because you guys like them, obviously, and want to see them. But um, 
we don't have like a PR relationship like I have with every other company. Um, I have very good relationships with every other company I work mm. with, apart from Bethesda, because they just don't like me. Um, which is a pity, because I feel like, you know, we we could do a lot together in that sense. But I'm always going to be honest about what I play, if I like it and don't like it. Um, and I'm not, you know, that's just the kind of, that's what you guys follow me for, right? Yes. Like, do you know what I mean? So I'd rather have my integrity smile on you, over... I guess that relationship, but it is sad that they still hold that grudge against me, considering all the all the work I've done since. You know, I play all the Elder Scrolls Online DLCs, and I enjoy their games. I haven't played Fallout 76 since launch, but from what I heard from some people who do, like it's got better with the Wastelanders DLC. But I think to defend the game at launch and say that it was exactly perfect and I had no right to to be upset. <laughs> about the quality it launched in I think is a little bit sad um, and I would I'd like to to build a bridge and and move on and like and do things with Bethesda that I think they're an awesome company um, and I think they've also learned from their mistakes and improved from them and even Todd Howard himself in interviews has said um, that we let the fans down with Skyrim um, and moving forward, they're actually not yes. going to be focusing on multiplayer games in the future. They're going to carry on doing single player stuff. And he said the Wastelanders DLC, for example, um, for Fallout 76 did really well. And that's what we're good at doing that single player like content, you know, the storyline. And that's what he wants to focus on. And I feel like he literally is echoing what I said and what the fans said. And when I made that community post, it was like years ago now. Uh, when Fallout 76 came out saying like I didn't agree with what Bethesda were doing at the time with the the really expensive microtransactions and just felt like they were milking us for money with that game launch it wasn't the quality I expected from them you know and I've said I've said this to the PR guy from UK um but you know just feel like they still don't like me and so they don't want to talk to me and and sadly that that's that's the situation right now and I hope it changes in the future I'd be more than happy to have a relationship with them um but but yeah like um i feel like i also want to talk my mind about video games and i don't want to i don't know maybe they see me as like a red flag of someone who could um say my own opinion about things but i feel like especially after covid i've, I've been a lot I'm very positive about all the games i cover uh, and enjoy and i think it's important to to, to not sit there and be negative about everything you play. I think with Fallout 76, I definitely was not a bad place. I was very negative, maybe overly negative about some things. But so are other people, you know? Um, and I, I say the game's improved since then. I've not gone back and played it, but I've heard it has. Um, so what do I think about CC content so far? I really enjoy it, like genuinely thoroughly enjoyed it so far. But yeah, that's the situation with Bethesda. That's why I won't, they don't like me and I won't be receiving any early access to, to their games, I don't think, ever. Like, even Elder Scrolls Six or Starfield. Um, which is sad, but, like, you know, at, at least I was honest about how I felt about Fallout 76 and what the company was doing. Um, so, that that's just the implications of what, what happened with that. So, we need to now wait a few days until it starts making money. Well, farmhand... I can't even sleep, mate. I built this house and I can't even sleep here. You joking? I'm gonna go back to my own house and sleep there? God damn. Let's go back and do that. Yeah, some of the Creation Club content is free. This isn't. Like a lot, all of the new stuff pretty much is paid for. I think you get the fishing stuff for free, the survival stuff for free, um, just by owning Skyrim Special Edition, which is pretty cool. I can't even sleep in a child's bed. I have to go upstairs? Goodness me. Well, you've got to wait a few days to see how much money my farm starts earning, but I'm genuinely interested. I think one of the coolest uh, medieval games I've ever played is Kingdom Come Deliverance. To this day, it's like one of my favorite games. It's just so well done. So much passion and care has been put into that game. And they added a DLC where you could actually like run your own town as Henry, and you were like the bailiff, basically. Um, which I did like some videos on. That was so fun. But it was really cool because you could actually go into debt as well because you had so many things to pay and uphold. So you kind of didn't want to start the DLC too early. Oh, talk to Fiando and collect your day's profit. So every day, my farm, which is at the max rank now, it's got everything in it, 
is going to make money and we can pick it up from Fiandel. So I guess um, it's like 10 p.m. Let's just wait until the morning till he comes outside, then I'll collect it. So this, you're about to see like the maximum amount of money that we uh, are going to be earning from this farm. Can't sleep in my own house. It's the world coming to. Now it's, it's 10 a.m. Where are my farmers? They should be starting work now already. But they're not even here yet. There's still a dead body in the farmhouse, which I'm not too keen on. We're going to have to go in and wake them up, guys. This isn't good enough. Yes? Good morning. Good morning. Divine smile on you, friend. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. I'm Are here to collect the profits. Very good, sir. 572 gold? Collect the extra harvest produced from the pantry. Oh, good. There's one I've had my eye on. I'll see if it's still for sale. Yeah, buy a new horse as well. A thousand gold is pretty expensive. Um, I'm a bit confused. So where is the pantry? It'd be quite funny to have Serana running your farm. Just a vampire. Oh, that could be quite fun. Right, we need to find the pantry so we can uh, collect the other... The notes but on that note i feel like you yes. burned a bridge that needed to be burned at the time i mean yeah yeah you're right in hindsight i guess like maybe i should have kept my mouth shut but at the same time like i feel like i would have been pretending to to not be upset with developers at a game franchise and company i absolutely adore you know um and that would have been very fake to you guys and i feel like i would have been doing then my audience a disservice not to have an opinion about that i thought i've you paid you to hands? farm the hill surrounding the village right my land and not 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 blacksmith and mess around the person needs to give us a quest to destroy all the founder so this is the pantry oh, okay crops milks and eggs are produced by the farm will be automatically sold in this cupboard okay completed a farmer's life for me wow so they automatically farm all of the crops that you have in the farm for you. And the milk, honey, which we can use for alchemy. This is an insane... Sorry. An insane source of alchemy crafting. Dude, I have so many cheese wheels. They're falling out of the cupboard. Um, and I, can I could even grow all the ingredients for making foods and stuff here as well, which is pretty exciting. I don't think I could cook anything yet, though. I want to wait another day and see if I get the same food from everything, you know? Wait, I could cook poisoned apples? That's pretty cool. Love that. Uh, Cicero is the funniest NPC in Skyrim. Yeah, some people hate him, other people love him. It's interesting. Yes. All right, I want to see... Um, what's interesting is I can still manually harvest the plants as well as get them from the pantry. Which is really cool. How does I do this? Oh! Get Rex some. I've triggered them all. How does he know I'm here? Don't mess with me, Fiandu. I want to kill my farmhands whenever I want to kill them. Shouldn't have to be attacked. Your farmer is smashing pumpkins. Exactly, man. So we've got our own cows here, our chickens. They're laying eggs. This is fantastic. And we've got water as well. Look at this little chicken. Can I kill this chicken without being arrested? That is the only thing I care about. Well, he knows. He knows it's coming. Oh, get wrecked. And you can harvest it with chicken breast as well. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Good morning. Can I buy more chickens? Agreeable enough. I certainly. What did you? I'll see to it. So I can kill all the chickens and buy more for, to harvest chickens. Your service as steward is no longer required, so I could get oh, rid right of him, then. and then re-recruit him as a follower if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that because I will be killing farmhands left, right, and centre. Oh, the goats have little bells on them as well. Collects milk. Nice, a jug of milk. Disgusting. I love it. Use mill food. 
Addison Land, thanks so much for the $5 donation, dude. The fact you were more worried about being honest than maintaining a relationship with a big company says a lot. Appreciate that, your understanding there. Stephen Morgan, I brought your hidden detectors t-shirt. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for getting me even more into Skyrim. Awesome, bro. So we can make sacks of flour that restore one point of health, but also using cooking. We can also make straw with uh, wheat at the mill as well. In fact, we actually had a quarry that we could have mined here. I don't think there's any source of clay nearby. But it is what it is. Yeah, no, it's, it's an important thing to me. I like to play, play like usually when I'm sponsored by a company or a game to play it, like I mean, I make sure I enjoy the game first. Um, like for example, uh, Wastelanders Free sponsored me to do a playthrough of uh, their game, and that was awesome, man. Like that game's so good. I really enjoyed that. Um, so I like those kind of sponsorships, you know, if I can maintain integrity in that sense. Need something? Why are you not doing anything? I pay you not to stand around, and you're just sitting here? I mean, you're surprised when I kill these people, Fiandal, but I feel like the only person I'm allowed to kill is the horse, and we've got another one, but it's the same color. I wanted a white horse. I guess this one will have to do. But I'm pretty happy with my farmstead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait another 24 hours, and we're going to collect our income once again and see if it changes from 572 gold or if that's like the max you get each day happy birthday Sira de man hope you're having a good day dude so we can milk goats which raises the question can we make cheese i would have thought so right i would have loved to have a cheese production farm Divine smile on you, friend. Are you just eating my food? That I, I work for this food, Fiando. How dare you? Can I milk the cow? Talk to cow? I thought it said talk to cow. Interesting. Yeah, no, big fan of the farm creation club content. Then I think that's really good. Um, so can I actually collect the profits? Very good, sir. Six hundred and thirteen. Oh, it's gone up. Good day. I like how he says, very good, sir. Very good, sir. That's is very good. Are you playing the Elders, uh, Elden Ring? I would like to play it, especially because everyone keeps asking me. But um, I haven't played uh, it yet. I haven't even watched any content about it. I prefer to go in completely blind because I just think it will be a good game. Like, from software, I always do a good job. So. Okay, so. Now I'm going to save the game. What I'm going to do quickly save the game and then we're going to go to the main menu we're going to have a look at what we're going to play next on the creation club store or we could try out fishing what do you guys want to do do you want to try out fishing open the creation club I've played over 3,000 hours of Skyrim. It is good. Is it worth like 40 pounds it's selling for? Well, it's a $20 upgrade to Skyrim Special Edition. To me, that's worth it. I've enjoyed what I've played so far. But that said, after I play through the content, I'm not going to like sit there and enjoy some of the armor mods or something. Um, but if you're like doing another playthrough of Skyrim and you want to like mix it up a bit, I feel like it adds some content that's nice. But there's also a lot of free mods that do that as well. Thank you so much for the donation there. Sorry, I completely missed it. I didn't see your name anymore. Atomisma Willow. Ah, you're still watching the stream. Awesome, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to find... If you guys want to try out the fishing, I think fishing would be interesting. Featured. It must be featured, surely. Not. On, under gameplay, then. Yeah, here it is. Test your metal as a fisherman in the brand new series of fishing quests and catch over 20 Nexus Bulbul. Is this a mod or a new addition to Skyrim? By the way, is the new edition worth money? So the new edition of Skyrim Anniversary Edition adds a collection of different Creation Club mods. Um, it's definitely more worth it than any of them have ever been to buy it as an upgrade. $20 upgrade is pretty worth it uh, for me, but each person to their own. You know, there's also a bunch of 
awesome quest mods like Sky Oblivion that are being made for free. So it's it depends on your level of value. So new fishing quests and catch over 20 new aquatic species in the waters across Skyrim. Cook them or display them in Lakeview Manor. Helljarchen Hall and Winstead Manor in your home aquarium. So Angular Acquaintances is the first quest. Start by using any fishing supplies scattered around Skyrim. All right, well, that's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and start that quest then. Gone fishing. Fishing then armor. All right, let's see how that goes. That sounds like a, a, a good way to go, I reckon. So uh, we need to find a fishing spot. I don't know where any exist. But there is a crabber's shanty here, so I assume this would be a really perfect spot for a fishing spot, but I don't know if there will be one there. Beyond Skyrim has a new trailer, really? Do you guys, should we watch it together before we start fishing? Oh, yeah, there is actually a fishing supplies. Oh my god, I was right. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarrow can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Exactly. We have mud crabs here as well. I like this little fisherman's hut. He's even got like a mud crab trophy here he's mounted. This is like one of those little role play homes that I really appreciate. He can even take his fishing rod here. Justin on tube! Thanks, thank you for the 50 knock! $20 for a fishing game? Outrageous! Well no, there's much more than fishing content, but this is one of the things. But this is actually free. So I need a fishing rod. So let's just pick up his fishing rod. Steal this. You must have fishing rod equipment. Oh, I need to equip a fishing rod. Is it a weapon? It's a weapon. It does 11 damage. Hey, what? Jesus Christ, it's a hell of a weapon. Oh, okay. While fishing, press activate to reel in your line. Reeling when there's a strong pull on your line will reel in your catch. Ripples on the surface when casting your line up from nearby fish. If the water is calm when you cast your line, there are no more fish to catch here. The fish will return in a day's time. So I guess you could do like a lap of Skyrim and all the fishing spots. Press A to reel in your line. Okay. Oh, there's a little dart wing hovering over the fishing spot. That's cool. Oh, there's a ripple. You reeled in your line too early. What do you mean? I saw the ripple. I reacted too fast, apparently. Skyrim was not ready for me, Battle Brothers. We'll watch the Beyond Skyrim trailer after we do a bit of fishing now. I want to catch a fish first. Okay, that's a pull. What? Too early again? All right, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I like that there's a mini game for it. I'm glad it's not just boring waiting around. So I'm waiting for a strong tug. Yeah, that's definitely strong. So I just pressed A once and I got a river betty. One of the most common fish in Skyrim. So I guess I can carry on fishing here. Maybe it's empty of fish now. I don't know. Taking a little bit long. Oh, yeah. There's a. Oh, I can see a fish down there. I can actually see it coming to the rod. Another river, Betty. Okay. Actually, do you know what? Why don't I just come over here and take these fish out of the water? That was a lot faster than fishing. You have to, like, get in the animation with this, this fishing supply thing that enters into, like, the fishy. the fishy game. Fishing game. I can do this with my eyes closed, mate. Like, you just feel the vibrations. Watch this. Easy. Another river betty. Dude, there's nothing but river betty in here. I wish I, I'm like, I'm so used to New World. I'm like, oh, where's my fishing skill leveled up? But no. I mean, it looks like there's actually a man down there just tugging the crap out of my rod. Yeah, I've caught like 10 river. Whoa, my Jesus. Thank you so much for the $100 donation, dude. Thank you so much for being so awesome. I had a rough year with the loss of my mother in December and my wife in February, dude. 
and watching your vids has been a blessing mike i'm so i'm so sorry for your losses and i mean i'm glad my videos could give you any enjoyment after what happened and i hope that your life picks up and you have positive things going on on the horizon that's a huge donation dude thank you so much but like I i'm glad that my videos brought you some kind of happiness that honestly means the world to me when um, people tell me that um i really want to beat someone up this fishing rod that um my my videos have brought them some happiness in that sense so so thank you so much reaper black bull sin thank you so much for the donation as well so are they removing regular mods now no 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 it's just that the update with all the creation club mods they added changed some of the things in the skyrim files and that resulted in some of the more complicated scripts mods being affected and broken so now everyone's having to update them um so that that was the issue behind that right so um we wanted to watch the beyond skyrim stream friends one sec skips frames is the stream okay for you guys can you still see okay should be okay right yeah so you're married i wish i was next year i will be married uh later taser my mod is actually coming to my wedding uh but we had to delay our wedding like three times now um because of covid uh and kim's from germany so a lot of her friends and family are coming over um but yeah visit rift and friskery so this is the quest for this but now we're going to watch the beyond skyrim mod let's quickly let me find the trailer guys one sec um beyond skyrim this is the new trailer i believe wow it came out an hour ago dude okay it's five minutes this is gonna be good let me just full screen it and we can watch it together guys uh i will put display capture on Is the stream quality okay for you guys? Um, it is now. Stream's lagging. Yeah, stop lagging. Okay, cool, cool. Now it's okay now. Don't know what happened. All right, we're going to watch this together. Are you ready? This is the Cyrodiil uh, trailer for Beyond Skyrim. Now, you've already had the Bruma quest come out, uh, which I played. I might even go back and replay it now. This is coming out. So, here we go. Oh, one sec, there was a little bit of story there. So Emperor Titus Mead II leaves Cyrodiil in a state of chaos, very true, as a weak empire, emperor. Subject to the tyranny of the Thalma and faced within the return of an ancient enemy, the Hurtland's people, Hurtland's people are left to defend themselves to find a new leader to guide them into the future. Very exciting. Okay, here we go. Lol, look, my live stream's just here as well. 2,800 people watching. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Their trailers are so good. I have failed. Can I just say this already has um, better voice acting than any of the Creation Club stuff. And it's a free mod. It's free. These guys are making it for free, okay? So if you, if you want to donate, consider donating to this project. Despite everything I sacrificed during the war... It was the compromise I made to end it that would be my undoing. Cool and poor my people sword. believed that we could win. They wanted to go on. But my own faith was weak. And I made a grave error. Now, Cyrodiil is in a crisis that it has not seen for an age. Since two hundred years ago, when the land was on fire. The Oblivion Crisis. But even then, we fought together as one. We faced threats from both our world and Oblivion. But we fought them together, and we won. Wow. Although it came at a great cost, 
the dynasty that had guided us for millennia was ended. And now we are divided. That is where I have failed. In the end, I could not unite us. We have new masters of our country now. The villains I let in through our gates. I was blind to the consequences. I thought my people were as tired as I am. Thalmor. But they never laid down their arms. They will fight them to the end. While others choose profit over people. Some have set their eyes on the throne. They seek to supplant me even as I still live and breathe. Ah. And it is beyond me to stop them. In fact, I mean not to. Cyrodiil needs a strong leader for what comes next. Even though I can feel it in my heart that it is already too late. While they bicker and fight over this accursed marble chair, our ancient enemy has returned to reclaim the lands that we took from them thousands of years ago. Yeah, and this time, the people will have to protect themselves. They must find something, anything, to hold on to and then give their lives in service to it. The Empire depends on it. The glory of Cyrodiil depends on it. Whoa. Oh my god, it looks like a proper city. That's proven. <laughs> my god, it looks good. Oh my god, the nostalgia from Oblivion as well. Wow. And the soundtrack is incredible. Whoa. Anvil. Remastered looking. Oh, it's got Ballista on the roof now. Dude. Still, in these final hours, I cling to hope. Not for me, but for Cyrodiil. Hope that there will be another hero. That we will drive the Thalmor from our lands. That we will finally reforge this seat of Sundered Kings. Oh my god, this is insane. This makes me so excited. When's the release date? Is that is a release date? Oh! Written. Oh, okay, that's the website. Okay. Really, really good music. Well done, Daniel. And also narrated in game scenes by Daniel Hodge. Really good voice acting. I just want to point out a few things, guys, because uh, this was really cool. Like, we saw a lot in here. One thing I don't understand, by the way, is the Beyond Skyrim team are remaking Cyrodiil. And also, Sky Oblivion is remaking Cyrodiil. Both, both of them look excellent. But I'm just like, why don't they, like, team up? And you've also got, like, uh, what is it? The There's another team doing parts of Tamriel as well. Um, but they're in different time periods, obviously. But I love the world world landscape. Look at that with the, the trees going across here. And then these, this massive, like, dropping off waterfall here looks incredible. And then uh, what else did we see that looked awesome? There was, um, yeah, these people fighting back against the Thalmor. I love that whole story concept. Really introduces it in a beautiful way. All these people. Um, I don't know if that's a reference, the starting part on the cart. Uh, these prisoners here. And we've got the treachery. They're, they're literally out outlawing Talos worship. You can see the shrines of Talos here, all the blood. And then the Thalmor. Are like you know standing there there's like so many scenes set up and so many stories already set up that I, i'm amazed by and then the inside of this city it really looks and feels like a city you know and i like that you know skyrim cities are much more spread out understandably because it's a nordic sort of culture right 
but like this looks incredible like these the quests that are going to be in this i mean i can't wait to meet the people here just felt very epic this trailer with what's going on like it's really at war it's completely torn into shreds churches are burning and then we have the aliens coming back like geez that looks terrifying um and the the lighting and everything looks insane then we see some towns here so like this there's an imperial camp outside the imperial city just here um where is this big windmill look at that house that's a beautiful house there this is coral i think by the looks of the design this is Breville. we've been to Breville before obviously um and where is that oh i know where this is is that leowin like leowin yeah that's leowin with the docks man it's just amazing seeing it all remastered is incredible where is this is that still leowin got a massive port down here very poor city oh wait yeah no that is leowin because the, the docks it looks just incredible like, there's a real sense of depth and height and scale and everything uh, the world design's insane. Ah, oh, it looks beautiful. Love it. Truly. And the, just the really the depth of that forest, you could get lost in it, right? And that the logo is so cool as well. Like, beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil. Okay, fantastic. Let's jump back into Skyrim. Not Breville, Bruma. Oh yeah, no, no, you're right. Because Breville is the really poor one where they're like literally in wooden shacks. So yeah, no, you're right. I always get mixed up with seeing those ones. Imagine if you could dual wield. I mean, I'm calling it now. I want to do a video where I actually just play for the entirety of Skyrim just using a fishing rod. It's the new weapon. And you complete Skyrim with just a fishing rod. That would be an awesome video idea, man. Okay. Oh, we could go we can go and kill these bandits here. Let's do it. I am the fisherman of Skyrim. I'm mod testing right now to figure out which mod is breaking my autosave in PS4. Good luck. Autosaves can be difficult to recover. How about that, huh? Not so fast. The sound effect. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great! Is there a kill cam with this? Die! Die! I'm killing him with a fishing rod! I think I've got a god mode on still, but oh well. Fish this! Ah! I'm just whipping him with a fishing rod. <laughs> Oh my god, it's taking so long. He's actually got the unique armor on as well. Look at this. Easily blocked. Easily blocked. It is a fishing rod. <laughs> Legend has it that the dragonborn was a humble fisherman. Oof. Your Daedric armor has nothing against my fishing rod. Yes, he has succumbed to the power of fishing. Look at this new Daedric Plate Armor alternative we've just found. Look at that, goddamn. It's even got a Daedric Plate helm, which is exactly the same as the original. And so are the gauntlets and everything else. You want a bit of my fishing rod? I love how it's just this. <gasps> <gasps> Turn me into a rug than I dare you. I want to see if there's a kill cam on it, really. Oh my god, he's, <laughs> he just left. He was like, no, I will leave. I've had enough of this. I'm coming for you next, orc. Whipped him into shape, exactly. He left the area. He was terrified of me. I do a lot of damage, to be honest. Lord, just knocked him out with a fishing rod. Come at me. Is it? We'll see about that. The lag. Is it lagging? 
Is it stuttering? Oh no. Should be fine. Victory is yours. This is how you fish. Fishing in Skyrim is awesome, man. Where is he? I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Okay, he's running for his life. Fights me. You yield to my fishing rod? Rod. Hey, you've witnessed it. The ultimate weapon of destruction. The fishing rod. Fear it. The most overpowered weapon in Skyrim. Beautiful. Look at that! You'd never think it was going to be a weapon of absolute destruction. We need to enchant it. We need to do. Why am I flying? Do I TFC? There we go. Now it's working. Oh, look at these moves with this fishing rod. Look at it. Imagine catching fish like that. Beautiful. Ah! Oh. Like the running the running sprint attack oh my god just whipped with a fishing truck i mean have you ever stuck a fishing rod through a man i mean that's just nuts damn where do you want to go and fish next guys where do we want to fish next i want to go and enchant my fishing rod the ultimate penetration of a fishing rod never seen anyone be impaled by a fishing rod no I was waiting I for you to shout, YIELD TO THE so POWER OF MY RODS! I need more experience if I'm going I want to, to stealth attack someone and assassinate them with a fishing rod. Imagine slitting someone's throat with a wooden stick. Little bit of lag again. I don't know why. It should be 60 FPS for like 3k kilobytes. That could be the YouTube servers or something. Disgusting! Never mind. Alright, alright, that's it. Got to enchant my rod with extreme powers. Enchant it with penetration. The rod of penetration. Imagine it. Better be able to enchant it. Come on. Can't enchant it? Can't enchant it, I can't believe it, that sucks! I would put like a mad enchantment on it. Oh my god! Haha, -ha, you are no match for me and my fishing rod! Haha! -ha. <laughs> Alright guys, since the stream keeps like, I don't know what's going on with the stream right now, but I'm going to end today's stream here anyway. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll have another episode of an hour long playthrough through the latest quest mod as well. That's linked down below. It's going to come out pretty much after this video. Um, so stay tuned for that. It will just come and check the channel in literally about... Come and check the channel in 15 minutes at half past. That video should be out. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Um, I hope you had a lovely evening. I know I did. It was really good to hang out with you all and just chat and catch up uh, and have you all here watching the stream. It's been awesome, awesome fun. But thank you for watching. I will see you in the next stream. Farewell.